Now let's begin the story. H Town's finest. 16 Shots Podcast. Stop lightning with the blam blam. Haircuts, man, on the show, man. I ain't got a bad haircut today. It's not a good haircut. How is it not a good haircut? Tell me what's wrong with my haircut, please. It's kind of, let me see. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of square, man. It's kind of, it's kind of. It's kind of square? Oh, it's not a bad haircut. You're right. I apologize. It's not bad. It's just, it's real corporate. <laughs> what you mean is real corporate, bro? It's real corporate, man. Explain to me what a corporate haircut is. I'm, I would like to take a deep dive after you do your gunshots. Oh, oh, we got the uh, intro and all that, man. I thought you had got the, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the road. I don't have that that apparatus with me. All right. You are now tuned in to Houston's premier podcast, podcasting at its finest. Young James Boogie, AR Dub, 16 Shots. Huh? I do have my Oscar today, so I might get funky at some point. So what's a corporate haircut look like? Not threatening, man. Very, you know, uh, streamlined. Something that you would wear on a IKEA commercial or a Nissan commercial. Gotcha. Okay. Like I can see you right now. You know, it's like, hey, you want to buy neons? I mean, you want to buy a Nissan? So I definitely can be on a Nissan commercial. Gotcha. Gotcha. Plus the polo. I feel like it's my polo, but I know it's not. No, it's not definitely mine. not your polo. <laughs> definitely not your polo. I had the same exact polo. I mean, it's I a know. blue polo. Like, it's a. Navy blue polo. I'm pretty sure that this is a staple in any polo lover's closet. And, uh, it has, and it's, it's the uh, it's the fun, it's not the funny, but the it's the material is not. It's like soft cotton, all right? Yeah, I guess, I guess so. It's not like this. It's not a. It's not a. Um, it's not regular cotton. Like you know, it's like a softer cotton. Like if you like, like rub the- it. Like electric yes. cotton or something, liquid cotton. Like it'll, it'll get a tad darker or brighter if you, you know. I don't know. I know what you're talking about. It's not that. No, it's not that one. Yeah, that's my mind. It's like, you know, I want to say, I don't know. I'm not a clothes person. Man. Vel- velvet? I don't know. I know. I don't like that one. I know what you're talking about. I don't like the material because I don't feel like it ages well. It doesn't. Yeah. I feel like they got two polos, and I fell victim to them before. Like, the one you're talking about, it, it don't seem like it's, it, it's meant to play golf in once and throw it away. Oh, no, this, this is meant not to play. You can't play in this. You got to wear this like to – this is the after you golf and you walk around like you, you've won or you lost, or you're just talking with Chad or, or, or Kip. Or Kip. Hey, Kip, you know, that was a nice – on the back nine, man. You really did show up. You know, I think Ralph Lauren owe you money. Why you say that? Because, man, a long time ago, in a place far, far away, you would modify these bears. And you would have, like, you know, football bear, basketball bear, happy bear. And then 15 <laughs> years later, you know, Ralph Lauren selling these polo sweaters with the big bear on them and – Homie would be like Christmas bear, you know, rugby bear. I, I think they saw one of your bears and stole your idea, man. It's been a long line of lists of things that I've done that haven't got their proper credit. So I'm not, I don't feel no type of way about it. You know, like I said, I, I originated the, um, the the one leg up thing. I don't know if I can rock with you on that one. Like, you don't have no proof. And I wish one day we could meet LL and ask him, why did he start wearing one leg up? Telling you why? You can, I'm telling you why. No, no, I'm not doubting you, my friend. I just want to hear it from the horse's mouth. So I got some terrible news. Man. What's the terrible news? Well, I'm gonna take my uh, 
Mobile to mobile device. Okay, so I know we were supposed to have a certain person on the power today, but uh, they are in the ER, so they won't be able to make it to the pod today. That's horrible news. Horrible news, yeah. So, Not the fact they couldn't make it to the pod, but the fact that they had to go to the ER. Both, man, because they, uh, they were very excited about being on the pod. And, you know. So is this both were, our guests or just one? Just one, just one. Oh, okay. Do I know the guests that will be here? Yes, you do. Oh, okay, 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 okay. They were very excited. You know, they wanted to, you know. Time out, time out, time out. The guest that was yeah. supposed to be on the pod. Is this the financial advisor slash, uh, you know, Forex trader? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the same one? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The one that I was accusing to be a part of a Ponzi scheme. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, well, last time it was something extreme too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was. And, you know. Maybe I'm bad luck for her, or maybe, you know, it's just timing and everything. But uh, I know she had an issue with her her son. Yeah, I can't accuse anybody of anything with that, so, you know. Son, but, uh, and I just, I hit her earlier, and she said she was in the ER, I didn't get a chance to to give her all the details, I get all the details, but, you know, hopefully she hits me back. How we get on next time? You got to take care of family first. Family first, man. Family first. All right, man. Hey, we got, bro, we got to pick up the pace. We seem tired. I mean, it's been a long day, man. I think for everybody, so. It has been, bro. It's been a long day and a half. Yeah. Why is flying so draining, bro? I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't think the actual flight is draining. I think the hustle and bustle of getting to your flight is what's draining. Oh, no. Well, I don't think. I mean, you know, let's talk about women. Damn, that was okay. Let's let's go for it. Let's let's do it. How do you feel about Meg Thee Stallion? I don't feel any kind of way about him. All right, all right, all right. Time out. Damn, it's one of them pods. Uh, in what in what in what respect? Like musically just, wise or just to honest, like okay, if I say describe to me Meg Thee Stallion. Bam, go. Uh, overrated. Um, tall. Attractive. Hardworking. Um, that's about it. So, I got into a short diatribe today about her. I don't know if that's the right word, dodge tribe. But was the conversation with a male or a female? With a female. Of course it was. All right. And they were saying something about her and saying that she was ratchet and educated. And that it's okay to do that. And I was like, I, you know. I can what? I can see someone describing her as ratchet and ed- I was trying not to describe her as ratchet and educated because I feel like uh just because a, a someone likes to involve themselves in twerking contests doesn't mean they're ratchet, you know, so. To me, I'm thinking like, okay, so why do we go to get a higher education, go to school, whether it be, wow, why do we do these things? Like, what's the What's the motivation? Consent? Go to school for motivation? I said, no, you're saying what's the motivation? For going, to, for going to college, like what is the what do you hope to get out of it? I think it differs from person to person. So if you're asking me honestly, if you're asking me honestly, at my age now, um, I want to finish school for um, just different opportunities professionally that it can that it can help me get. And when I say help me get, it's just something added to my resume. There are some doors that are closed because I haven't finished that bachelor's degree. Outside of that, it's just purely something I want, something I would want to accomplish. Now, some people do go to college because they're programmed. So it's like, well, I got to go to college to get a good job. So I got to complete college and they go. Um, 
I think your motivation should be more than just that, because there are there. If your motivation is just making money, um, there there's some different avenues you can go down instead of just traditional college. Um, some people go for an experience, bro. I think uh, I think it's good. I think it's a good experience. It helps. I think it could help some people mature. Uh, but I also think there are some people who might not be mature enough to go off to college and they get lost in they get lost in the sauce, as we like to say. But I would love yeah, I to can, know your answer. I can humbly agree with some of your answers. And I can also say, um, as Jameson Book, that some of that's a bunch of bullshit. Which parts? I would I, love I, to know. I take nothing away from your answer. Everything you said was solid on point. Mm -hmm. But I can say some of bullshit. Not because you said it, but because ultimately the the lure of college is to get an education and get a better job or yep. get a better to be, to be to to educate yourself to be able to say, hey, I have this knowledge. I'm able to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Mm -hmm. Or I, I I should be qualified to do A, B, C, F, E, F, G, right? Yeah. So being said. I'm not sure if Cardi B graduated from from high school or college. I'm not sure if any of the city girls or if uh, Trina or if uh, uh, Kaya or if, you know, name any salacious rapper, Lil' Kim. Why? You know. But why, I want to know where you go with this. So why are you not sure they graduated from high school or college? I mean, I mean I, I, why why would you make that statement? Because I'm saying that the the conversation was like she's educated because she's going to college and she's got a bag and she's ratchet and educated. But I'm like, I, I think I'm I'm some of the worst Smith. And I think I kind of got under their skin when I said this. But I was like, imagine going to college for four years to make the same as somebody who dropped out. Like if I'm going to college, like if if education is is the key or education if i'm going to college to be educated in xyz if i'm a megan the stallion but i still operate the exact same way that cardi b does why am i going to college so you say i had a degree or not i'm to be on this tv and twerk i'm still going to say i'm still going to holler out you know that shit that shit that shit i'm still going to wear this Scan I'm still going to show my ass titties and thighs. So whether I went to TSU or or Harvard, I mean Harvard or Harvard or any school, like I'm still selling sex at the end of the day. So, like, is this the message that we're preaching to our young kids? Like that money is the is the end all goal? Because anybody, anybody gonna, at some point, they're going to be like, shit, I ain't got to go to college to go twerk. I ain't got a college to come up with a hot with a hot bar. Like, so you know what I'm saying? Um, so you're you're saying so you're saying her accomplishment shouldn't matter because she's she's making the same money. She's making more money. She so you're saying this shouldn't matter because she's making more money than she would have with the degree. Why even go get no, the I'm, degree? I'm saying that if the if the conversation is that she's educated and she has and she's getting a degree that's the conversation like how is this degree applying to anything like what is what are we applying this degree to like if i'm saying like and less about her but more about society like okay i'm thinking that i'm i'm going to get a degree so i ain't got to show my ass okay i'm going to get i ain't got to be so i ain't got to be thought of as a, as a as a as a like oh she got ass or he tall or he fine or or whatever the fuck they want to say, I'm getting a degree so that whether my whole face get hit with with um acid next week and I get 130, 30, uh, 400 pounds, I still have this knowledge to be able to be you know whatever. Whereas if like, but if if I'm if I'm not doing those things, if I'm just relying on this other thing, meaning my sexuality, then am I really using my degree? Like this degree, I mean, and I, I'm not saying like you got to use your degree. I'm just saying like, what am I going to school for if I'm doing the same thing that dropouts do? I think, 
I think you gotta ask. So I think that's. A, I think you gotta ask. You would have to ask that person that. Like I said, I think people go to school or go to college. And everyone has a different reason. You have some, bro. You have some people that are like career, college, academia people, who just keep going to school and going to school. I can't hear nothing you saying. Not, 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 not can you hear me now? I can't now. Am I good? No, you, you good. Okay. You good. It might be my bitch ass internet. Go ahead. Huh. Not, not, not. You know, cutting you off. I'm not trying to. But I'm saying like. No, nah, really though. Like, like just in all honesty, like all, all propaganda and bullshit, all that aside, like I can, I can go out of high school and go twerk and rap and rap, right? Mm -hmm. If I go to college and I'm sitting in these classrooms learning about you know all these different things, and I still go twerk and rap, like. What's that? I didn't. I I didn't learn shit in college, man. But but what came from like make the step? This her success twerking no. and rapping, or her starting college? Cause she was in college already, and she blew up rapping. No, what I'm saying is like, like when I think about what make the stallion, and, and the, the issue I have with with certain rappers, or I'm like, even like if I, if I talk about the the the, the male rappers that are looked at a certain type. I talk about Drake or Lil Wayne or a um you name it, right? There's there's inspiration, there's hope, there's intelligence in their rap. That's why that's why the difference between forty two Doug and Drake. That's why it's the difference between Kanye West and shit, Swiss Beats. Because even though they both produce and they both rap Swiss B ain't finna give you nothing to make you sit down and think about, right? Swiss B ain't finna make you go back and like, okay, damn, that concept, that ideology, that's some, that's something different. That's something that I can build on, right? Back in uh, what it say to teach the East is what rap intended, what society wants to invade. Do not uh, walk this path they laid. You know what I'm saying? Self destruction. What I'm saying is like rap, just like spirituals. The Negro spirituals was always meant to teach and lead and inspire, right? And so, if I'm still doing this, like, have you ever heard of Meg the Sound song? And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not a huge fan or like you know, like, but have you ever heard the song? You're like, shit, that song right there makes me wanna like do better. Or once they're like this, there's no hope. There's no. It's just. It's just ratchet bullshit, man. And it's it's like it's like Beyonce. It's they all in the same boat, man. Like you you hear a bunch of songs about a bunch of stuff that really don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? It's like, so what is this? Like, why is this great? Like, what makes this good? Is it good because you like it? To me, I really feel like it's good because this is what you want to be. Like, this is how you want to look, and the look that you want to look is Eurocentric. You want to have blonde hair. You want to be light skin. You want to have slim waist and a fat booty. Like that's that's if you put the top ten female, you know, R and B rappers in a line, I guarantee you they're all within the same three or four shades. I guarantee you they all got the same kind of hair. I guarantee you they got the all same kind of content. And I think that's just so that's so unique. So your issues like, with her music, not necessarily her educating herself. No, nah, no, nah. it's 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 like. Once you know better, you do better, though. So if you if you if you're going like, I don't want to throw stones at TSU, but like if you're going to TSU and you're going to a college and you're getting information, you that none of that information you got from TSU has passed has transferred over to any of your music. No, not not one. I ain't never heard say anything. I ain't never seen her. I ain't never heard her rhyme a three syllable word. Well, she don't write her rhymes, but you know, um, and and her her rap, ego, her rap. Alternate ego is Tina Snow, and I don't know how the pimp will feel about that, but I don't think her educating herself, going to college, getting her degree, I, I, I have no issue with it. Like, I don't think it really has, I don't think it, in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to her music and, and what she reflects, I don't think it has 
any positive or negative. Like it's just it is what it. I have no. I don't care about it. I think it's cool that she went back yeah, and got man. a degree. Like maybe she's trying to be a role model for some and saying it's still cool to educate yourself. I don't feel I don't feel as strongly as you about it. Like I don't. Cool, it's great. She got a degree. What I'm saying is like, like, I think that why I rub people wrong or why, like, sometimes, like, I'm 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 very aware of the ripple effect of the butterfly effect of like what's well, about something happens over but, here what's well, about what 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 can be negative about this because like if you if you're telling me that what she what she puts out as an artist right is one thing how she endorses things like it's not it's enough to have her walk in the whole Popeye shit. That's a, that's that's a, that's that's a, that's one thing. Like you could have a whole deep dive on how fucked up that is. The hottie sauce. To, like like this is how we sell. Like this is how we sell chicken, with a chick in you know a bikini or a leather bikini. That's how we sell chicken. That's a whole conversation, right? But even given that, letting that be what it is, if the if the if the conversation about that is oh yeah she's an educated woman. She's a college student. She's getting an education. If I'm seven, if I'm nine, if I'm 12, if I'm 15, and this is what I'm looking up to, then I don't see nothing wrong. I don't see nothing wrong with going stripping to get money to do, you know what I'm saying? Because really, I'm putting the bag for everything. I'm putting money, like like I said, it's the great compromise, man. I'm, I'll compromise anything for this money, man. I'll compromise anything. I'll compromise my pride. My, 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 my self worth, all that just to get money. Well, that's that's like, a reflection on what someone. You know what but that's the reflection on what someone would do for money. That, the educating yourself part has nothing to do with that. So if you're talking about how she might compromise herself and how she acts and what she represents and what she displays, I mean that's one thing. I don't think the educating herself has anything to do with that. I think uh, if someone's gonna look, if you're saying in reference to her being a positive role model, someone's going to look at that. I don't think the education piece is going to play in it. They're going to look at what she's doing to get quick money. If you want to call it quick money. But I don't think it's a negative that she's educated herself or she's went to college and got a degree. Like, I don't see a negative in that. I'm saying, I'm saying if an educated female looks like that, if that is what, if, if when I'm, if I, when I, and we got to keep it a buck, like a bean, like a hundred, like not, not being politically politically correct, not trying to be, but being honest, like, okay. like honestly looking at it, like if you see me myself, and it's like, okay, this is what a black man looks like. Okay, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm not saying that I'm the 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 prototype. I'm saying if if there are people who look at me and see what a black man looks like, and they see me in situations and how I act and react. And every time I get mad, I cuss and scream. And every time it ain't go my way, they, they some bitch ass niggas and they some hoe ass niggas, right? Right. You don't think that the people up under me, and, but then I, and then I back that up with saying, but I'm, I got a college degree though. I'm educated. So you don't think that the people that's under me who don't have the college degree are going to do all those things before they, like, like they're going to see like, oh, like, oh shit. Yeah. But me having the college degree, and me understanding and knowing, I'm knowing like shit. That's not how I should handle a situation, man. It shouldn't be no bitch ass niggas. I know that. I know that. I know it shouldn't be no bitch ass niggas. I know it shouldn't be no whole ass niggas. I know I know that when something happens, there's a way I should react. I know I can react. I'm not saying I'm wrong, but I know I can react in any kind of way. But when the the like all this shit ties in, like I was saying earlier about uh not earlier, but when I was saying another part, I was talking about um, when they come to the hood, the news cameras. They don't know how to pick. They don't know how to pick who to interview because their vision of a black person is Martin. Their vision of a black person is Will Smith. Their vision of a black person is what they saw on TV. So they don't know that you could be educated. They don't. They think that if you're talking like like I'm talking right now, they're like, oh no, nah, man, what? How? What? Are you from the area? Cause this is how black people talk. Like they're animated, like Will Smith and Martin. They 
they're overly this, that, and the other, right? Like we just like every other race have a spectrum, but when you push one side of the str- of the spectrum, then that's what you get. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's expected, and that's what comes the norm. You know, there was a time when all we said was brother. There was a time when that's that was the norm. Like, what's, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? Oh my, you know, that was a, that was a norm until a different a different image was projected. And now it's like, what's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? I I know for a fact there was times that I got in fights with somebody calling me a nigga. Or I seen fights start because like, man, I ain't a nigga, man. You don't know me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Give me the I don't know face. Um I I I can I can agree with some points you've made. It kind of feels like you went off on like a uh you had a lot on your mind there. So you hear that? Cause I hear it. It's weird too. I don't know if it's my feedback or your feedback. What is that? No, that's your phone. My phone not on, bro. I don't know my what that phone, is. That's my phone. I, you on the phone. We've never had this issue before like that before. But it's my phone. You okay today, bro? Man. Nah, I'm telling you, like you, you got like some some bitterness going on in you today, bro. You know what? You're a laborer. You're a laborer. I'm a laborer. The person who just went on a tangent about about why Meg the Stallion is a horrible role model because she has a college degree and she twerks. Did you feel the same way about Wayne when he went to school? Nah. Huh? You know why? Why? Because I can pick, I, because, because Meg Thee Stallion don't have any songs like Joy the Bush or Tie My Hands or Mr. Officer even. Like, even, like, like, what I'm saying is even in all of, even in all of, oh, you know, you're right. Um, uh, even in all of what Wayne is does whatever there's a lot of intelligence in Wayne well how do you know in, in, in all right so and the way right. he presents how do you know there's not a would you feel the same way about um about Lizzo there's a lot of intelligence in Lizzo there's a lot of intelligence in Lizzo so how there's do you know that there's not a lot of intelligence in Meg the Stallion or a city girl. I'm not saying there isn't. Or a Cardi B. I'm saying it's, it's not displayed. I'm for sure it's not. I mean, like, come on. Like what I'm saying, keeping it like, and that's what what I think is that we have to keep it a bean and keep it a bean. We can't keep it a bean on certain things and, and be like, oh, and I don't know if you're just being devil's advocate here. I'm just trying to and figure I, out how can you say someone is unintelligent and you, you like... Not, what what part of that are you trying? What are you basing that off of? How can I say I don't think there's a lot of intelligence in these people over here, and you don't see anything negatively of their actions to show that they've done something unintelligent? What did you just say, bro? I said, how can you say someone is unintelligent, but you don't have any proof, or you don't have any any evidence of some things that they've done that's unintelligent? I heard what you said. I just want you to repeat it. So I, I mean, can... you spoke to Wayne's intelligence, but yet Wayne keeps doing well, dumb ass shit. I'm saying no. What I'm saying is that when I'm speaking to Wayne's intelligence in his and his in his presenting and what he does, like making a mistake is one thing. Doing things that aren't in the best interest is one thing. But I'm saying like, can you name a Cardi B song? I, I can name one Cardi B song. I think. Did she have a song where she's talking about domestic violence? I mean, talking about the her her her, her intelligence level necessarily isn't measured in every song that, that she doesn't even pin. Like she's not even writing these lyrics. She's li- she literally has a ghostwriter. So so how 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 can you measure her intelligence in that? These words aren't coming directly Where's from her. Data? Where's your data? What? What's your data? What Where's I your data? what I date Cardi Where's B. Your data? What? What's your data about knowing who writes? 
Where's your data about knowing who what she writes, what she don't write? So this is what we're doing now. Like we clearly know she has ghostwriters. Like we that's a known fact. If you do something as simple as look at the credits on the songs book. I just don't understand. I think it's a crazy it's a crazy argument to say you're measuring someone's intelligence due to a song that they put out. I said name any. I didn't say one. I said name any song. I didn't okay. say one. I said any. Name any song you could think of, of of Meg Thee Stallion's. We're like, damn, that was a very well thought out plan. Like that song right there. That 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 right there is something that I can take and use outside of the club. That I could take this idealism because I, I I'm not against club music. I'm saying even even Three Six Mafia talks about police police violence. Even like, come on, man! Like, this is why I, I'm I'm not the kind, I'm not the one that's always like the old heads, new heads, but like the old heads and new heads, man. Like, you can go listen to Ice to some Ice Cube, to some MC Ren, to some Scarface, to some MC Light, some Queen Latifah, to some Luke. Like, even though they might have had a strong suit whether it be booty music or gangster music or whatever, they still had songs and lyrics that reflected their environment, the truth about their environment, not just we just party, party, party. Like, no, nah, man, Wayne got time my hands. He has songs about Katrina and the and the and what happened, you know, what the socioeconomic um, repercussions were to Katrina. He talks about George Bush and what the socioeconomics were to his actions. Like what I'm saying, like um, I don't know. Like the great American uh, poet Chad Butler once said, "Man, take that monkey shit off. You embarrassing us." Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, I think it's a. I think it's just the odd argument to say, "How do I feel about women?" Then you bring up Meg Thee Stallion and make it a negative that she's actually finished college, and she actually makes money off of that's not twerking. True. But I asked you though because I no, said, I, said I asked you was it a negative, and you said yeah, and then you told told me about the butterfly no, effect, I, um, and things of that a, nature. I said, I said it's a negative that that is. That is the example. Like, if the example of making, if the example of coming up is slanging dope and then going to jail, coming out better, like you got 20 rappers and they all have the same story. I slung, I slung dope. I went to jail. I came out and got. All straight. right, cool. Let me stop you it right there. The but but time out. The but time out. Let me stop it right there. What is the equivalent of that for a female rapper who simply just twerks and talks about sex? Is that the equivalent? What I'm saying is the example for, of her is like the, set, the example for female rappers is, okay, I'm going a, I'm to a show my ass. I'm going to talk about salacious shit. I'm going to be half naked. But then I'm saying there's not even a progression. And, and I might say she's young in her career, but she's like four or five years strong. So in four or five years, man, I ain't heard no songs that she can be like, here, I got a daughter. Ain't nothing I ever heard from her that I'm like, yeah, you can listen to that. I, I, we can, we can have a conversation about this song, about you know, like I can go to Eve and be like, she got Love Is Blind, she got you know different songs that talk about different issues that because you're, you're a conduit of women, you know what I'm saying? You're not here to just to be a, a sexual object. Like this is what the whole women's movement was about, about us not about not us, about them not being sexual sexual objects. And here we have these young people who were like shit. I'm a rebel in being a sexual ob object because I know there's enough horny people out there that's going like, I, it's not about me saying that her college education is not, it's not good. It's me by saying like, we can't promote it. Like that's the, like that's, nah, man. I, I think it's a weird, it's a weird ledge to stand on. That's all. I think if you want to say she's a bad example by what she represents as a whole through her music, I can ride with you. I think once you just bring up her 
And I and I can ride with you if that's what you're saying. I I I'm think saying, okay. So what, what, go back once again. Do you go to college to go strip, bro? Let's just make it simple. Do you go to college so I can go strip? Do I go to college so I can go get naked? So if I was a male stripper, no, I'm not going to college to become a male stripper. However, but listen, let's say I'm in college and I start stripping to help pay for college. And in the process of me, but in the process of me stripping to pay for college, I blow up as Texas's Texas's best male stripper and I get the bag. I also finish my degree, but I'm making stupid money being Texas's best male stripper. Is that a knock on me? I'm going to keep stripping. I mean, I'm going to keep stripping. Is is what's it's putting millions in my pocket. So why would I stop? Why would I stop? Why would I stop stripping, making the millions in my pocket, to go be an accountant and make thousands? I'm gonna strip. I'm gonna strip and make the money as long as I can, and then after that, I'll do something else to continue making money. And I don't think a stripper so, is equated to Meg's. Thottish dancing. She's a musician, bro. She's an entertainer. I, I can't knock an entertainer who started entertaining while they were in school and blew up rapping and continued their degree. And they just happen to have sexual content in their music. And they make more fun music than woke music. I'm not 100% mad at that. Yeah. Then they just happen. You think she just happens to have sexual content in the music or sexual like it just happens like oh she just happens to have like no that's what she chooses to do effort. that's what i'm saying and so i'm saying like do you think like how do i sit down and open the book and read and still have these same idealism so it's one of two things either i'm not reading well it's one of three things either okay let me ask you an all. important question let me ask you an important question do you think that there are professional females and males um, who are accountants, lawyers, all of this stuff, and they just sit home and have a vanilla lifestyle, and they don't do any of this shit that's in any of this music. No. So what's the difference? What's the difference between the lawyer who, let's say, had uh, Meg Thee Stallion-like content but never blew up but continued going to school, became a lawyer, and still does these things? But she gets paid yeah, off of law. She tell me what's different between a lawyer because it's, it's, it's because it's, we're talking about the content of Meg's music. So you you don't think they're professional people who do exactly what's in the con content of Meg's music? Well, I'm, well, I'm I'm gonna tell you the difference. The difference is because you once again, where is the lawyer side of Meg? Where's the side of Meg where we see, okay, she is giving an example of of how this education that she has, like in her, like, and this is, maybe I'm tripping. So I'm not, I'm not tripping. you are tripping, like, you but you, you, you want to see examples of her education in her music. That's what you want to see. You want to see her give you examples of her education in her art. That's what you want to see. What I'm saying is I can't read, like, you you can't read you can't read something and understand what things are about and still act the same afterwards like if if i read if if, if i read about if i read malcolm x diary or autobiography and i still have the same feelings about certain things then I ain't really read this thing man i ain't really just i'm not really i didn't cuz if you read it and understand it, it's it's going. That's why. That's the whole reason why you go into college to 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 not have the same perspective. You don't you don't go into college thinking one way. You don't go into any kind of learning situation thinking one way and come out the same way. You you gain knowledge. You learn things. You you uh, you have a better understanding. Oh, that's what this means. Oh, that's what this is. That's, that's what that is. You right? don't get that from so college. What I'm saying though. is, I don't think you necessarily get that from college. You don't get an uh, understanding of knowledge of how of knowledge. You don't like you don't learn well, in college. Yeah, when you go to college, 
you're you're getting information in a certain discipline, whatever discipline you choose. I can go to college to be an accountant, and I can come out with an accounting degree. That that four years of schooling and and me being educated as an accountant or a lawyer or engineer, that's not changing my my. That's not changing my personality or or how I perceive certain things. I literally went to school and came out with education of a skill. It's not changing my mentality. If I'm a hoe when I go to school and I learn how to be an architect, I'm just an architect who's also a hoe. And I can read every architecting book known to man. That's not going to change my perspective. I'm still going to be a hoe. You know what I'm saying? So, And I'm not calling Meg a hoe. I'm just saying... In that res- in in that respect, just because I go, there are a lot of educated fools. Just because I go to school and get educated in a discipline, it doesn't mean that it's going to change my overall uh, uh, mental thinking capacity about certain um, life situations. So she very well could be educated in something that she can't reflect through her music because it didn't change her 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 mental thought process about social issues. Okay, so I'm going to say two things. One, there's no, the H is, it's a hard C in architect or architecture. And two, like, is she taking English one, two, three, four? That's like your biggest issue, bro. Like, your biggest issue is you have to critique everything, bro. It's it's not, Meg going to school and, 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 Meg going to school and you feel like she's not reflecting her education through her music is 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 bullshit. That's that's it's a bullshit ass take. It is. No, 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 it's a bullshit ass take. No, it's not. No, it's it not. is. It's a bullshit ass take. Taking you take like what I'm saying. If I'm taking English one, two, three, and four, it's a bullshit like, ass a take. Reason, there's a reason why you don't like because what you just said was kind of bullshit. But I didn't want to say it. But since no, say it. Bullshit, what what part of it was, was bullshit that I just said? I go. To school to be an architect, bro. I don't just take architect classes for four years. You don't like she's not going, not going to Devry. She's going to Texas. Southern. So you, you, you. The reason why they want you to take English and Spanish, and you have prerequisites in your degree, is because they want you to be a well-rounded individual to be to be able to understand and comprehend <laughs> different levels of life what do what but do you come what do half you, the people do with them classes they got to take you know half the time they go find the most bullshit ass class they can take to get the credit the class that they have to do the least amount of work to get the credit because they wanted to they, they they're trying to just get a discipline done so if i want to go to school to be a how you say architect it's, it's not a what yeah, yeah but I'm, no but you no 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 in- let's let's go down this road let's go down this road i don't care about taking uh I don't. I, I'm taking the the. I'm taking uh, the history of music because I gotta take a fucking elective, and that's what I'm taking because that's the easiest that's, shit for me to do. You gotta take English one. That like you have a core. Me taking your, your English core. one, two, three, algebra, psychology, whatever, yeah. whatever I have to take. That is not finna. Me taking English is not changing my mental capacity of how I feel about social social issues. I'm taking English one, two, and three because I gotta take that shit for whatever my discipline is, and at at best, it's going to make sure I know the difference between there, there, and there. Well, what I'm saying is the thinking of the college and the university, because you're, if you're doing there, there, and there in English two, then your university is. Do the garbage. You know what I'm in saying, English, bro. English. I'm, you, you, you know, and that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, bro. And the this whole argument you got, no, I'm saying, with Meg the Stallion is, I, I, you, I think it's bullshit. I think you've brought up some valid points about, about maybe the fuck shit when it comes to what women are trying to represent and what they're actually doing with this women empowerment movement, but. This whole thing about Meg's and Meg and her 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 college degree, and you feel like she doesn't reflect it through her music. I think it's bullshit. I'm, okay, so what I'm saying is, do you agree with the statement? If you know better, you do better. Yeah, but that or do you, that statement necessarily okay. has nothing to do with college education. I mean, so so how do I go through four years of college and not realize that I'm I'm objectifying shit on myself right now? 
either I either I don't know it or I, at this point either I know I'm doing it or I'm, I, I have no idea. It's no confusion in this at this point. It's like, a lot of I people, kind of but it's a lot of but it's in. a lot of people to go through four years of education and they. It's a lot of bullshit they continue to do. How does someone go through four years of college education, become a judge, and think it's okay for me to just sentence juveniles to detention centers for money? You went through four years of education. How do you not know that that's not the thing to do? That's some bullshit. How are you not reflecting your education through your job? They don't. What you say was a catalyst. Well, it's money. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But we the talk. But 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 with that being said, the girl's an entertainer who went back and finished her degree, bro. There's nothing wrong with that. And I know you're not no. saying something's wrong with it, but there's not even an argument to have about it. The cat, like you just said it, bro. The catalyst is money, bro. But the but in your so your stance has nothing to do with someone educating themselves. Your stance has yeah. ev- no, it doesn't, bro. Your stance <clears throat> has everything to do with what people are willing to do for money. The things that people are willing to to sacrifice or 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 compromise themselves for money. It has nothing to do with the education piece. Everything. Watch this. So and. We can leave it at this, or we can move on from here. Um, am I going to school to improve my education? I'm, I'm going to school to be able to dictate how I get paid, right? More in, in in any facet, I'm trying to be able to say, I have this education. I can get paid through these things I learned, right? Not everybody, but go ahead. Yeah, you're right. Not everybody. So and the only reason why I say reason, not and the only reason why I say not everybody is because you have people who are millionaires who go to college um for different reasons. Like you have these trust fund kids. They don't go to college because they're trying to better themselves to get a better job. Some of them are going to college because this states and said trust fund like in order for you to keep receiving X amount of dollars per year, you have to finish some some course. Or, you know, my dad is 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 Bob McNair. In order for me to make sure that uh, I inherit the family business, I have to have a degree in something. Like, I don't, I don't have to go to school. I can sit here and take my little endowment or whatever they call it, and and just chill. Or, you know, this position re- requires a college degree, and so I go to get a college degree because I want to enhance my pay. Yeah, that's that's another thing too. Gonna give me, I'm gonna get a million from the endowment. I can get untitled, unlimited money if I have a degree and be can be a president of the company. And that's so one motivation is, as well. And then you have some people who go just to go. Like, oh shit, I I want to get a degree in 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 psychology or philosophy, so I'm gonna go to school. There are more people. College, eighty percent of college is eighty to seventy. Five percent of college are people who are trying to improve themselves financially. Of course, it is. I'm not gonna, I'm yeah. gonna ask for data, but most people yeah. who go to college they go to improve themselves financially. Yes, I agree. That's what I'm saying. And if if the conversation about Meg the Stallion is gonna be she's going to college to improve herself mentally because it's not financially, she already got money. Who said so she was going but who, to, but who said she was trying to improve herself mentally? Who said that? Why am I going to college then? Just to go, how you know? How you know she? How you know? Like I said, she started college before. She started college before she was Meg. Before she was who Meg is now. Before she was Meg the Stallion, whatever her regular name is, that's what she went to school as. And somewhere in between her starting school and finishing school, she blew up to be what Meg the Stallion. How you know she just went like, hey, you know what? I started this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. And when they got a degree, damn, damn, really true. Her her mother was in the business. As we know, her mother was in the business. She was familiar with rap. She was rapping since a young age. She went into school already had being a not being a popular rapper, but having a rap background. She got signed or got promoted, how you want to call it, while she was in school. What I'm saying is if the conversation is Meg the Stallion is a role model, is an example of how you can be ratchet and educated, well, where is the education showing? How am I showing the education? 
Or maybe she ain't got Where to that part yet. She like, just she just graduating this 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 fall or spring or whatever it is. So maybe you gotta wait and let her show you the education piece now that she has it. That's all. Maybe we gotta wait. Maybe more will be revealed. You saying she went to school for four years or three years? How long she went? And in these years, the best she the best thing she can come up with was hands on my thighs doing thigh shit. That that's what she got from going to school. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying is that, and I'm not trying to bag on her. It I'm sounds like you that, are. What's the difference between Meg Thee Stallion? What's the difference between Meg Thee Stallion and a city girl? What's the difference? Like, like you can, you can, you can be, you can, you can make it. A well, I think Meg like can. What I think Meg can. can I think Meg can com- communicate in complete sentences, though. Have you heard some of these city girls talk? It's it's horrible. It hurts. JT go horrible. JT goes hard. Well, like, how you know JT not educated? Rap. How you know JT not educated? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that JT goes hard. But I'm saying the conversation about JT is not. Oh, look how educated she is. She went to college. And the 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 com- the conversation is like she's a great entertainer. Okay. Right. And so I'm saying, in so many words, I'm saying like, let's keep it what it is, man. Let's keep like she's an entertainer, bro. She's a great entertainer. But trying to put this other jacket on her, just like Beyonce. Just like a lot of these, just like let me mention guys, just like some of these male rappers, like a little baby, or you know, like these these are the, these are great entertainers, man. We're not looking at these people for inspiration on how to live, because what they live in and what they saying and their experience, none of that shit's matching up, man. None of that shit match up. So, like, it's not a knock on her. Not saying that she shouldn't get educated. I'm just saying like the conversation, because when that conversation comes out. When it comes out and presented the way, like, oh, look at what she's doing. She's going to school and she's and she's doing this. Like, nigga, I can't, I can't. That don't make sense, bro. That don't make sense whatsoever, man. Like, it's too many examples of women who didn't do that, who were successful, to try to cape for that. Like, oh no, she's doing what she wants to. Like, well, why? Why would I sell my ass? Why would I make myself a a a a, 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 a object like that? If I don't have to, like I'm just asking the question, like why, like what, like I, why, I can't even tell you why would I, why would I just be like shit? Look how this, let me, let me bar these niggas to death, man. Cause she can't rap me, though. Like you, you want her to do something that she's incapable of, which is rap. She doesn't write her own raps, bro. And why does it matter? Why does it matter? Why does it truly matter? Why does it truly matter to you? Matters to everybody. No, why does it matter to you? Because you are the first. Honestly, you're the first person I've heard had to have this take. So why does it matter to you? You're the first person. I'm the first person you ever heard to say, "Man, making be pushing some bullshit." No, 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 no. I'm. You're the first person that I've heard have this take about her and the education. You're not the first person to say that Meg can't rap, and it's some bullshit. The education piece is the first time I've heard this. I think I can I can I can I can ride with eighty percent of the shit you're saying if you didn't bring up the education piece. Because I, I feel like what you're saying has nothing to do with education. It has everything to do with how she just represents herself as a woman and as how that can can pertain to being a role model for young ladies. I'm saying that's that's why I keep saying that's why I keep you're saying, bro, and this the part you keep. I feel like you're not hearing what I'm saying. If you know better, you do better. Yeah, I had a role model part, but but, but I'm everything. again, no, just because she got a degree don't mean she know better. How do you not? But I'm, and then, so, okay, I agree with you, but I'm asking you, how do you not know better? It's how, a lot of educated you know, fools. A fool and not knowing better, two different things, man. It's a lot of educated fools, and it's a lot of niggas that know better and still do not do better. Like you know that you know it's people who you you've had you've been around someone and be like man I know he know better or I know she know better. It's a lot of people who know better and still choose to do differently. Okay, I'm with you. So now, like I said, like I said from the beginning, the conversation about her, as we refer to her, as we talk to her, to our young women, to our to the people who, who look up to her, people who don't have the years of knowledge that we have. Like, how do we talk about her? I think it's, I, I don't, oh, I don't man, think, 
I don't think our entertainers and athletes necessarily need to be a role model, though. They're enter- they're there for though. entertainment purposes only. Now, some of them, some of anyway. some of them take the, the some of them take the mantle of role model. I don't even know if that's how you say that. Whatever, but some some of them take the the role as being a role model. But yeah, you know, you you got to and as, it, it starts at home, bro. You got to be able to help your kids cipher through the bullshit. How could you not be a role model? How could you not be a role model? And you, like, you, you, you come from an impoverished place, a place that came from low income, not having, you know, government cheese, however you want to put it. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're middle class, you know, you come from a place where, you know, you didn't have Rolls Royces, you know what I'm saying? And now you, somebody who looks like me, whether you be white, black, Mexican, whatever, you look like me, you came up from a situation like mine, and now you have everything, through the site at least, you have every everything that you could ever want. You have all this money and all this ability to do things. How are you not a role model? Yeah, but that's how, not... How, how could I not want... Yeah, but... I'm asking you, how could you not want to aspire to who? I want to aspire to be like... Who doesn't aspire to have a bunch of money, bro? In this society, but but you have to have, you gotta have some positive role models in your life that can tell you what's the reality and what's not. Reality is everybody ain't gonna be little baby. Everybody can't be uh, LeBron James. Everybody can't be uh, you know Mike Vick. Like that's 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 like that that's like the odds of you becoming that. It's like it's like a long shot. It's like one in five thousand. I don't even know if that's the correct odds, but you know what I'm saying like. The reality of life is more people are going to end up being worker bees, working regular nine to fives or being business owners and entrepreneurs opposed to being that Meg Thee Stallion or being that NBA star, NFL star. You got to have role models in, in, in your life that can give you that reality and that can show you what's reality and what's not. How many times have you heard... Um your favorite. How many times have you heard Benny the Butcher say, "Y'all won't never be like me"? More than likely. How many have, how many times have you heard Con, Conway say, "The life that I live is nothing. You'll you'll probably never have this lifestyle because this is I'm a one in a million shot." Opposed to how many times you said, "Have you heard somebody say I worked hard to get this, and if you work hard, you can get this too." You're saying how many people have I heard say I work hard to get this opposed to the others? Because I hear no. Benny the Butcher and Conway tell like, niggas in every track that you'll never be like me. I'm a one of one, nigga. Yeah, but I'm saying. That's what they say. One of one. What I'm saying is how many times have you heard people say if you work hard or I got this by working hard. I work harder than everybody else. Yeah, but your, every, hustle hard. your everyday role model shouldn't be a fucking rapper. But you see that's like you gotta you be mean. able like I don't know and I don't I, I'm just going by the household I grew up in in a household that I know probably the people in my close circle grew up in is that we weren't looking for the athletes or the celebrities on TV to be our role model. We actually had a real education or we had a real live view of reality and what should happen and what you need to do to be successful. Is that the norm? It's hmm, is that the norm? Let me think. I don't know if I can say it's the norm or not. I don't know. I don't know if it's the norm. I don't know if it's the norm now or not. I don't know. Because like we turn on TV like once again, another rapper killed. Yesterday, uh, Slim 400. Yeah, but Slim 400 like, is a crip that in- got killed in gang activity. Like, that, me, that, that, if that's your role model, that's a problem. If you don't have anyone in your home who can be a more positive role model than a gang member rapper who got shot, like, that's, that's the lifestyle he chose to live. We can have a long conversation about why it makes a 100. 
a hundred percent more sense that a rapper or a successful person would be a, a more prevalent role model than a parent. Who's your role? Who's your who, who's your role model growing up? Shit. Oh, I don't know. Uh, man, that's a hard question. I don't know. I don't know. Or did you have a role model growing up? Just think about it. It w- it wasn't a celebrity. You didn't give no. me a celebrity instantly. I'm, I'm thinking to my head. I'm like, because it was like a bunch of people I looked up to. Like, it's but like. And you also Max have Johnson to. Johnson was one for sure. But you also have to look at aspiring to be like someone, um, and, and having realistic goals and role models. It's two different things. Like if 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 you're a teenager growing up in house, and and your role model is is Benny the Butcher a game, and you aspire to be just like Benny the Butcher a game, I mean, that's a problem. Now, I heard a baby say he aspired to be like his old man and the streets raised him. His dad, got, his dad went to jail for murder, and when he got his group home, all he knew was the streets because that's what raised him. So the celebrities weren't his role models. It was the people who, who he was around the most who happened to be real street niggas, and that's why he became a real street nigga. Same thing with me. Yeah, I saw celebrities. I'm like, Deion Sanders, Barry Sanders, Michael Jordan. Those were all role models that when I played basketball, I wanted to be like Mike. I wanted to box like Mike Tyson. Um, but I also had real life role models. Like I had a cousin who, who's 15 years older than me. I saw him go to school, be an engineer. I wanted to do that shit. I wanted to go to I wanted to go to college. And, and pledge Omega because my older cousin did. I wanted to be a hardworking dude and take care of my family because that's what I saw my dad do. That's what I saw my grandfather do. That's what I saw my uncles do. So those were the real life role models that were in front of me. Yo, I had celebrities okay, too. I, I, I love Tupac, bro. I love Tupac to the point I carved thug life on my arm with a knife, bro. Cause I wanted to be, I wanted to be Tupac. Yeah. Well, 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 well what, what, so, and we can leave this conversation. I know we trying to leave earlier, but, and I don't want to say something that's, that's going to spark a more conversation, more conversation, but I was like, say something controversial, please. There's you know, in space to say like, like you can have positive role models in your house and you can have positive role models around you. Mm-hmm. And still do but fucked up shit. That great, no, I'm saying that great, that great compromiser, bro. That great compromiser called money, bro. That money will change everything, man. If I see, like, there's been too many instances that I've seen in my small life. Like, I remember when we went on tour with Michi, uh, when we did that school tour with Michi, right? And we was, uh, we pulled up, and just so happened we all had white cars. They had the white. Bentleys and Escalades. We just had white cars. Michi gets out the car, and we're at a we're at a we're at a, a place, an institution of learning. Michi gets out the car, and you know he used to be diamond up, and he had this bracelet that was all diamonds. I've seen educators stop and just stare, like they got kids with them, and they ain't even looking at the kids. They like. Because the, the, the lure of riches and money is the green eyed it's the green eyed devil, bro. Yeah, but it's then like it goes demon, but it bro. also it also goes to what you're willing to do for it. So it also goes to you know if you're willing to compromise certain things, sacrifice certain things for it. Some people ain't willing to take some some people ain't willing to take said penitentiary chances. Right? But some people are willing that's why Okay, so now we're rolling. So what I'm saying is some people saying like, well, shit, all she do is to show her ass and she get paid. So why? Wow, I, I can show my ass. You can try to show your ass, but you might not get paid. Because she do more than just show her yeah, ass to I get mean, paid. Let's, let's keep it a buck. I, I mean, the reason why I made a saying is famous is because she's thick. If she was built like me, she wouldn't be famous because her rapping is not that great to stand out past. You know what I'm saying? She... She has the she has a decent flow and a 
super super body. So she's using everything in her tool like, uh, in her in her to, in her tool kit so to get paid. What I'm saying is, is okay. Does she rap better than Rhapsody? Well, of course she doesn't rap better than Rhapsody. So do you think that she? Do you think who you think should have more accolades, Megan Thee Stallion or 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 Rhapsody? It all depends. Meg might be an Meg- overall better entertainer than Rhapsody. Rhapsody just can rap her ass off, but she might not be willing to be the entertainer that Meg is. How many Rhapsody so, videos have you seen with Rhapsody in a leotard? Once again, so I'm asking. You, how how many have you seen? I'm, no, 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 no. I'm asking. How many? How many videos have you seen of Rhapsody in a leotard? But, but. But but the truth is no listen up listen up the truth is if you actually see Rhapsody in a two piece on a beach she's just as fine as Meg just shorter but she chooses not to sell sex she sells lyrics I disagree with that I have you ever seen Rhapsody in a two piece I'm asking I've never seen in two piece I didn't so how can you disagree I've seen her I don't think she's fine as Meg, bro. I'm not. I said she could be. As she, I said she could be fine, just as fine as Meg. Meg is not cute. I'm not gonna disparage. I'm not gonna disparage anything. But what I'm saying is, you just you just said entertaining, and then saying all you said was her being a leotard. You didn't say nothing about her. I said it's the same. It's the same thing with Beyonce. We we it's the same thing with Beyonce. We say Beyonce can't sing. Beyonce doesn't sing better than than Jennifer Hudson. However. She she's a better entertainer because she puts on a better show than Jennifer Hudson. Because not only is she in the leotard shaking ass, but she does some 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 dancing and car whatever you call it, and and the show was nice. She works hard at, at at presenting her show, and that's why when she's in a category of whatever best presentation, best video, whatever, she's gonna win it because of what her presentation. All I'm saying is, Meg might perform better than Rhapsody. Rhapsody gonna wrap her ass off in some baggy ass pants and a baggy ass shirt, and you will never see what she looks like underneath it, unless you just happen to see her bikini pics on the beach. Meg, however, walks around okay, in the so leotard. Do you, you think that rap talent doesn't outshine Meg's presentation? Uh, not if that's the category of the presentation of the talent, as in like a video okay. dancing and all that shit. I'm saying is that the award show is not. It didn't say the best female dancer, the best female twerker. No, they have they have certain female. categories that would benefit a young lady or young man who was actually performing. Now, yeah. if you told me that that Meg won best best Amen. album over Rhapsody, I'll probably be would say that's some bullshit. Let's name the category. Category of music at an award show that would say that okay, uh, I'm a, not, reputable, I'm not a reputable reward show that would say we have the best dancer or the best woman in leotard. Or You're right. I don't know. It's, of performer. course, it's not going to say the best woman in leotard. It will say the best performer. It will say best video, some shit like that. But you're right. Will, book. You're, all, you're right, book. It was. You're right, book. It will say. You're right, book. The best art. I was asking the best artist. They I've already answered that question. She she shouldn't win best artist over Rhapsody. Should she be in the best artist category over anybody? I mean, if she if she submitted her music, yeah, she can be in the best. She, she, if she submitted, if she if her her project crossed all the dotted all the eyes, crossed all the T's, and they submitted it to be in said category, there's nothing wrong with it. No, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Integrity, man. What you mean integrity, bro? How was what what, what 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 part of my lacking integrity? Not you, not you. I'm saying that I think we've lost. I think that, and maybe, maybe I maybe I might say you too. Not picking on you, but if you, you want to, that's what you want to hang on. I think that as a as a culture, in music, we've lost integrity, because from your description, what you just said, you like it. She checks the box, and I'm like, bro, who you think? Who do you what? Artist, would you put Meg over if in the best artist, the best artist to win? And you like or just be nominated? Nominated, like well, how who, does the nomination what, who, process who, work? Who Tell take? me that. How does the nomination process work? It 
there there are there, there are pieces to the to to different you know uh, uh um whether it be the Grammys or the Emmys or let's, let's go Emmys Grammys awards. let's go Grammys best album album of the year how do you how do you get your project yeah. nominated bet it you submit it to the, to the Academy and they they review it and say yes or no bet and so how many spots are open and it doesn't have to be I accurate see. just give me a, a ballpark. It's like five to six per five to six spots are open Bet. per year. So each, each so if it's six spots open. So you saying that you well, no, she shouldn't be in No, what I'm saying is if it's six spots is if it's six spots open and yeah. she has a project that did the numbers and her label submits it, you're saying that she but she shouldn't be in, 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 in the category? I'm saying she I'm saying as long as Meg Thee Stallion has been making music, she's never been one of the top six artists in the, in the in the world artistically. I'm saying that without a shot of a doubt. I'm saying that Meg Thee Stallion fans will say that they'll be like they like her, but like, are you putting her over Rhapsody? Well, she came out the same year. She she dropped the album the same year Rhapsody did. I agree. Like I she, I she, agree with that part. But what I'm saying is, if she can submit her music, why does if she can submit said project, why does it matter? Why does it matter? Why does anything matter then, bro? If she because I mean she's fun, not man. she's not cheating or anything like bro, you're submitting a project. Yeah, it's simple I'm as that. Is. You're submitting a project, and when you submit the project to the panel, if you feel like my if you feel like I have a project that can be project of the year, and I saw X amount of records the same as whoever this other superpower is. I can't submit my project, and oh shit, I got nominated for the award. How is that a? I'm, I don't, I'm I'm lost. I'm saying that two two things. One, me selling a bunch of records is not an indication that my project is good. It's an indication people like my project because you, we can go down the line year after year after year. People sell ridiculous, stupid numbers of projects. And doesn't that mean like and doesn't that mean in some aspects I know that there's a lot of bullshit going on, but in some aspects, doesn't that mean that I'm one of the top performers or a top artist at this yeah. time? If I did the numbers, all this shit is numbers based. Not. Do you think that um do you think that MC Hammer was ever one of the top artists? Like personally? At one yeah. time Hammer was was the was the at one time, Hammer was the bar. He doesn't get the flowers he should get now. But at one time, MC Hammer was like a mega superstar. It was two niggas. They were yep. mega superstars. Hammer and Dion. Bro, Hammer and Dion. Am I lying? Bro, bro. Am I Hammer lying? Was famous as fuck. So he you mean like, to tell me Hammer was never a mega yeah. superstar? He was a superstar, but was, his pro was he one of the best artists I didn't ask you. How I didn't ask you that. that that's Maybe not that, but that ain't. But just because, bro, ninety percent of the time, the best artist is not even in the category because they're not popular. They're not the, the the best artist doesn't equate to the popular artist. We know that. I think that uh, Vanilla Ice is ever one of the best artists, one of the top six. Artists. Best artists and popularity aren't the same. We know that. A lot of your, a lot of the best artists, hell. The roots were better than ninety percent of the people that they were in the category with, just of music making. Period, and people slept on them. So just because you're the best doesn't mean you're the most popular. So, and then, so now we're on the same page. So I was saying when Megan Thee Stallion is in the category with the top artist of the year, you're like, nah, she's just popular. But none of she's these popular. award that shows really are measuring the best artists. It's a popularity contest. We know that. Like we know that. All right, Kanye should win for Donda this year. Am, am, are we correct? I think so. Album of the year should be what? Donda. It should be, right? Hip-hop album of the year. Sure no, about, fuck that. Album of the year. Part. It shouldn't be hip-hop. It honestly should be album of the year because Kanye West is more than hip-hop. Donda should be able... Other albums of this year. Donda should be yeah. able... Donda should be able to go up in the hip-hop album of the year, uh, pop album of the year, all that shit. Gospel yeah, album of the year. Bro. It should be able to be in more than one category. Because it's not one genre of music. Can we agree on that? 
But I'm saying he got 23 nominations. But I'm saying that. No, man. I'm, no, I'm. I'm saying let's not. Let's not. Let's not just breeze over that. Is that? Is that? Is that a correct statement? That's. So I'm saying that. In the, in the sense, yeah, I'm saying he has a great album to me, to you, to a lot of people. But I'm saying that if you put him, like he's saying, best country album of the year, right, or best gospel album of the year, I don't think that he should win best gospel album of the year. I 100 percent think three. he should win best gospel album of the year because it can fall in the category of gospel. He should 100 percent win yeah. best pop album of the year because it's popular music. He should 100 percent. Yes, it is. He should won one hundred percent win best hip hop album of the year because it also can fall in the genre of hip hop. That's what my personal belief is. I'm saying, I'm saying that, I'm saying that, if you have four gospel songs that are fire, and I got fifteen that are fire. How you gonna beat me? How many gospel artists got fifteen me? fire songs? I got a whole song for the gospel albums. I'm mean, what I'm saying, like, like a. Uh, but are they fire? Uh, are they Craig. Kanye West fire? They fire, yeah. Are they Kanye West fire? If, even if they ain't Kanye West fire, I got more. I, if I have, if I have a whole, if I have fifteen, a whole album of <laughs> very, very good. Are they a better artist than Craig. Kanye? Let me finish. No, I'm asking, are they a better? I know what you're going to. I'm asking, are they a better artist than Kanye West? That's subjective. Oh, so now it's subjective. Now it's subjective. But this whole argument has been about subjective shit, though. So now when I bring that up, it's subjective. I just asked you, 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 so you asked me at any time, has Meg Thee Stallion been one of the six best artists in music right now? In the genre that she performs in, that's subjective because no. there there could be a hundred thousand people who who bought her album on day one who feel like Meg is the best female rapper to ever lace up a pair of shoes and walk in Hollywood. That's you subjective. Saying, that's, no, that's just crazy talk though. How is it crazy talk like, now? Because just, how is that crazy talk now? Yeah, because if we're gonna have a conversation about things, and we're gonna say well. You saying well, somebody might think, but there are measuring sticks. For you brought it up. So even if, you I'm brought the subjective you, shit up. A, no, 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 I didn't. I said what you said about Kanye and gospel is subjective because Kanye has an album that has songs that are not gospel on the album, whereas somebody has a whole gospel album. So if you want me to put my four songs against your fifteen? Well. You only got four songs. I got fifteen. What if my four songs? So, are, what if my four songs blow your fifteen out the water? I'm saying that. That's what I'm saying. If they, if your four be my four fifteen, then yeah, I can see that. But then I'm gonna say, as I'm like, shit, you got four, so you only worked four times as hard. I worked three times as hard because I made triple the amount of songs you made. What? You made. Four, I made fifteen. So time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> so just because I made more songs than you, that mean I worked harder than you. So that mean I should win over you. If 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 we're making gospel songs, what if I made, made fifteen four, trash five, gospel songs? Then if, it, if you made if you made fifteen trash, then don't count. Then we talking about good against good, not good against bad. You know what? If you, I'm you confused, right. if bro. You made, I, no, you got it, bro. You won. I'm confused. You got it. Are you confused? I'm, you got it, bro. Bad songs. You got it. We, it's not a conversation to have. If you made 15 bad songs, You're right. but if you made 15 good songs, you made four good songs, why is your four better than my 15? You got it. You're right. If 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 if, if, if you score 15 touchdowns and I score four amazing touchdowns, why is your four better than my 15? It's not the same though. But what if I scored 15 touchdowns and we lost? What if what if I scored 15 touchdowns and we lost every game? But the fourth touchdowns I scored, we won and went to the Super Bowl. Quality over quantity. Lil Baby can make 15 good songs, but but Kanye can make six fire songs, and that's gonna put his project you know possibly as project of the year over yours 
it's all subjective if you look at it like that. So you can't pick and choose what you want a champion of of subjectiveness, if that's even a word. I just feel like you use these things to pick and choose what you want to cape for. And I mean that's what most people do, so it's not like a bad thing. But not at all, bro. It's, Bruh, it's crazy. Saying, like, like the 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 entire conversation, minus the what people choose to 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 sacrifice, um, uh, and compromise themselves for for money, it was kind of crazy. I feel you on that part. I I totally one hundred percent agree with the parts, the points that you made on that. The other stuff though, it was kind of wild. I don't never be wilding, bro. Be so, no, you you be wilding so sometimes. At all, man. No, I we all we all be wilding sometimes in life, but you you be wilding sometimes. I'm I'm making good sense, man. No, 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 no. You you've made good points in your rant, and you've made good sense in your rant. And see, I think sometimes you you feel like when someone disagrees, you think they're disagreeing with the entire point. Is somebody following you? Is is you safe? Blink twice. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking at my hat. I got my hat from the wall. I got a different situation. I set up differently today, so it's like different stuff going on. So. Oh no, you look like it's a female over there that's finna put hands on you about your Meg the Stallion take. No females over here. If you safe, blink twice, bro. Okay. Camera, so you can see that I got hats on the wall man so see him, so <laughs> your see him. camera spanning has nothing to do with me it has everything to do with your political connects that you've been offending these last couple of weeks with your new little boo you've been you've been potting with I was trying to put some, some, some boo on me man look I am man look um, how you feel about your boy Jesse Smollett uh, to my juicy Smollett Bro, it's bad when 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 <laughs> it's bad when people hit your line and was like, Mike Ham, the 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 homie Ham man hit my line and was like, Jesse Smollett was found guilty of lying to the cops. I couldn't do nothing but shake my head, bro. Like the the African American race took a loss. We took a loss three years ago when he did that bullshit, and we thought it went away, bro. And then we took a loss. Cause why he, why did he even take that shit to trial, bro? Like he was lying, bro. Why did he do it? Your details, huh? Happened? Man, I was so it it wasn't important enough for me to follow that much because I kept saying why why he just didn't take a plea deal. But I heard some shit about how they told him on Empire. Excuse me. They told him on Empire that he was getting fat, so he got a trainer. Happened to be one of the, uh, you know, buff African brothers. Turned out that these boys end up having a sexual relationship that um, involved cocaine and marijuana. So when you start involving bathhouses, cocaine, and marijuana, that that's a recipe for disaster. And saying I'm gonna stage a white supremacist act to boost my career. Remind me that you are not allowed to speak at my funeral, man. Why you say you that, bro? Change. Story up so much, man. You're gonna tell a story and it's gonna be, it's gonna <laughs> Bro, it's gonna did you like, not hear a story about cocaine, marijuana, a fitness coach that turned into a sexual partner, a bathhouse, and then a like staged that. white supremacy act? So, so some of that, but like the way that you described it and the way that it was described by him is like totally <laughs> different. All right, I'm gonna let you. So, I'm gonna let I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna let you cape for Jesse Smollett while you uh, why you why you threw mud on Meg's name for getting a degree. So that's not why I threw mud on name. I threw mud name because she's she a role model. But um, but the way so I said it made it more entertaining. I know, man. That's what you be doing man and the people believe you man I don't know why they believe you no, they listen to it's the content they listen to the content and they're like oh yeah Doug was right they 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 it's you're easy to believe because you say shit but then they come back 
like I can apologize to a whole bunch. So yeah, I gotta, stop! I no, you don't, bro. Me. You if you you who are these people? You got in here and apologize a couple times, man. I apologize for I, I apologize for the amount of bitch ass niggas I said because I said like twenty five oh. of them. So I apologize for saying the, for calling you to be in, and even in the midst of me calling you a be in, I said I love you. I'm gonna go to sleep, and when I wake up in the morning. It, it ain't gonna be the same, but right now, my nigga, right now, you're BAN. But you, you came back and be like, man, I see what you're talking about. You like, no, I did that you about the I did that about the West Side gun shit because of the 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 stupid ass bracelet he had on. Now that shit was dumb. Look, what I'm saying it. What I'm saying that when I be saying things like. I be saying things that's like I understand how it sounds. I understand that it sounds fucked up. I understand that it's like, man, if if you just if you just take it for surface, it's like this nigga shitting on niggas, man. Why is he shitting on niggas? Why is he like anti-black? But then when you analyze it and you just walk around in your life and I don't think you're anti-black. You. I'm talking about anybody. Oh, okay. If you if you if you just walk around through life and see, you be like, man, this what he be talking about, man. That's what, because I mean, in every every sect of culture, of people have their idiosyncrasies and their things they do. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be black, white, Mexican, you know, Asian, Pakistani, they, they all have their own idiosyncrasies. It's just that we don't have togetherness, man. So our our idiosyncrasies they hurt more because we don't have to get we don't. And however you want to slice it, we don't have it because we don't have like. I, you know what you you know it's funny, shit, but you know it's funny the whole the exact thing, same thing you said about the togetherness. I heard a Palestinian dude in America say the exact same thing about his community. I've heard a, a Asian person say the exact same thing about their community. I think some of that is really? just is just when you're when when you're a part of a community in that intimate setting, you're gonna notice the flaws, and and you're gonna okay. be passionate about it because because you know that that you're 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 living in it. Can you go to a part of town, a part of town, in ten cities, uh, or let's so, let's just say Atlanta, Houston, right? If you go Uh-oh. to Atlanta, Houston, oh, we were talking about Jesse too. There are more. Well, you think there are more African American owners between those two cities than there are anything else? Like I, we ain't gotta go there because we know, bro. We know the black dollar. It's it's a, it's proven the black dollar doesn't stay in the black community. Like it's so many. The the unity is proven when you say, well, what what? How does the dollar spend? Because that's that's the number one sign of unity. If we're together, we spend together. That's just the number one sign. And so we ain't gotta pretend to act like it or theorize about it. Like shit, we know. Man, I can't go buy no. I ain't no, ain't no black camera company, ain't no black hat company, ain't no black computer company, ain't no black phone company, ain't no black shoe company. You know what I'm saying? So, man, come on. But Jesse Smollett, man. So, I I don't guy. think that's entirely true. What you just said. Well, go ahead. Okay. Well, what what pair of black shoes you got? What pair you got? I ain't got nothing. What pair you got? You got some. I got I know the the strawberries. Well, I got yeah, I got one pair. I tried to get the the, the J crossovers, but they was too, they was like one fifty. Who was J crossover? The, Who's the that? BBB. Mark Crawford. Yeah. Did you buy the daylights? The, the who? The daylights. The battle rapper daylight. Oh no, it was too much. That was too much. I show. I, I think I saw. I saw How much was the Battle Rapper Daylights? Eighty. Eighty dollars is too much. I seen you with Retro J's on. I know how much they cost. You can't tell me that eighty dollars shoes is too much. If I got Retro J's, trust I'm not paying more than eighty dollars for a pair. When was the last time you shopped with Delvin Carter? With who? Delvin Carter. It was Devin Carter. Well, next time you want to go on a rant about how there are no black-owned shoe companies, 
Make sure you do a little bit of research. So tell me who Delvin Carter is next pod. And then tell me if you're willing to it. buy some of his shoes. Or some of his clothing. Get out of here, bro. Why am I getting out of here? Fuck out of here. Why am I getting the fuck out of here? You just told me there was no black-owned shoe companies, right? Did you just tell me there are no black... You said name a black-owned shoe company. Isn't that what you said? It's crazy shit, bro. How did I say some crazy, crazy shit? shit like, Whoa, well, well, time out, time out, time out. How did I say some crazy shit? Have you bought a pair of Cool Kai's? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Name the top five, name the top five NBA shoes. Off the top of your head, name name your top five players with shoes. Name your top five, and like it's a whole league. Of so you're telling me NBA? All, so so you tell you telling me that? All right. What if I told you Delvin Carter what has? What are you a, talking about? Like, can I finish my statement? What if I told you that 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 Montrez Harrell wears a signature shoe? What would you say? What would, would you say? say? I know he wore Nike. I would say I know he wore Nikes last year. What does he wear this say. year? What does Montre What does Montrez Harrell wear this year? Sure. What does he wear? I'm, I'm assuming he must wear your boy. He wears a a signature shoe from a black owned, not just shoe company, but a black owned fashion company, 100 percent black owned, okay. not tied to any of the big names, 100 okay. percent manufactured, owned by a black man. Congratulations to him. Well, time out. You can't, but but you we we just talked about spending a, spending a dollar in a black community, and these are like like there's some black owned luxury lines, shoe shoe companies, tech companies. Freddie Freddie Figures has cell phones. I'm pretty sure Freddie Figures doesn't hand make said cell phones. I'm pretty sure they're outsourced, but it's a black owned cellular company. Like there are these black owned goods that if you go out and seek them, you can find them and, and they're actually relatively easy to find. So I don't think you can go and put the blanket statement saying who, you know, do this, who, you know, do that. Like there it's out there. You can find it. Hell, it's a fucking black owned mall outside of Atlanta right now. We have a black owned, mm -hmm. somewhat like a black owned mall in Houston with the black market. So there are places that you can find if you want to shop black and spend the black dollar. And there are more that we're getting to get more, more avenues now than we have in the last 10 years. And I think that's a step. That's a start. That's progression. It's progress. Okay. Uh, man, I, like to me, I feel what you're saying, bro. But I'm like, no nah, man. I'm How you saying no nah, man? You just went on a whole. You just went off on a whole rapid fire naming name this name that name that. And I give you lie, man. Matter of fact, not only is there a black owned shoe company, it's actually a black owned luxury clothing line, and he has a signature shoe in the NBA. He has a signature I shoe know. in the NBA. One. Huh? One and why are we happy as one? It should be 20. damn my nigga. See, and that's what I'm saying, bro. Like you right, it should be twenty. But when Kanye had it, Geezy's in the NBA, the NBA said, "Oh no, nah, man, your shit has too much reflective on the shoe." And they told niggas they couldn't wear Yeezys. I mean, Odell Beckham wear Yeezys in the NFL, but do you consider Yeezy a black owned company? Do you consider Virgil's Off White a black owned uh, uh, fashion line? So would you consider those black owned shoes? Nike. But they're Off White. It's Nike. Nike, Nike Adidas. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Between Nike. And let me ask you a question. If I buy if I buy a pair of shoes of of shoe surgeons, are they Nike or are they shoe sur shoe surgeon? What's on, what's on the shoe? What does it say on the shoe? Whatever you want. Does it say Nike on the shoe? It, it doesn't necessarily Nike say Nike, but he, he takes Nikes, he, t he he dismantles them, and he turns them into custom kicks. But what you... Nikes. But what you call him a black... What, what you call said person a... a is it Nikes? Is not licensed by Nike. Or... And, and he actually does work for Nike sometimes. But it's a custom shoe. So it's I, a shoe sur Shoe surgeon. I take a, if I take an egg and I scramble it, <laughs> or if I fry it, or 
Why is it still an egg? I think it's still yeah, it's still Nike, man. Okay, you're right, bro. No, you, you got it. You won. You got it. You got to. You got the answer for everything. So you got it, bro. It's, it's not. You're right. You got it. I ain't tripping with you. No, you tripping up, bro. Because I, I actually, I actually did the one thing you said do. You went on a rant. You said name X, Y, and Z. I named X, Y, and Z. I even asked you about it, guy. And then, and I'm not trying to give you the data shit, but I would assume if you're gonna go on a rant that strong, you would know. Well, there aren't any of these things available. When there actually are these things available. I'm saying is what you're what you're trying to do is say that because we have one or two. Or three. You said name one. We're by, that, that. We got to start somewhere, well, my saying, guy. You know how hard it is to get a signature shoe in the NBA? I want that start shit, though, bro. Huh? Jeremy Lin got a signature shoe. So Jeremy Lin has a signature shoe. So it's not that hard, man. Jeremy Lin owns Yao a shoe. Jeremy a Lin owns a shoe company and he actually made a shoe and it's a Jeremy, signature shoe. Jeremy Lin had a signature shoe. Um, Liao Ming had a signature shoe. Uh, uh, Ron Artest had a signature shoe. So, like, book, book, stop, stop, stop. Time out, time out, time out, time out. These people you just named, was it their shoe company? Or was or did they wear shoes of another company? I believe the, what was Lynn's shoe? What was Lynn's shoe? I know Ron Artest had his own shoe company. Uh, same with uh, Jay Crossover. Uh, I want to say that was Jay Crossover. So, you they, know. He, he had Ron Artest. We're talking about a guy who handmade a shoe, designed a shoe, put a shoe in production, and got an a NBA player to wear it as his signature shoe. Yeah. On top of that, he is a very successful uh, uh, fashion mogul or member of fashion. I don't know if he's a Good mogul question. yet. So to, so to not be contentious, but to be a positive move forward, can you explain to me why there are not more black athletes that are wearing his shoe? Well, sir, um, he has a lot of black athletes who wear his clothing and shoes. The problem is, um, in the Bay Area, one of the main athletes who wears his shoes is under contract with Under Armour. Um, I think that's why he started with Montrez Harrell. He's made shoes for Steph. He's made shoes for Shaq. Uh, Shannon Sharp, Chameleon Air. Actually, if you um, if you follow Chameleon Air, he mentioned him as uh one of the black-owned businesses that he supports because of his fashion. Um, so Chameleon Air, when he was on stage during the Three Six Mafia versus, he was actually rocking um somewhere in America's brand, which would be one Delvin Carter's shoes. They were the Sire Runners. They're pretty fire. They're about two twenty five if you can get them. Um, so he he's kind of like a big name deal in um in 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 Oakland. He actually started. He's from New York. He was a service. He's a, he's a veteran. Uh, he started out cutting hair and doing designs for Nike, and he stopped doing that and started designing his own clothes and shoes. So it's Saya somewhere in America. His signature brands are the Vultures. He just dropped some Vulture combats. One Scorpion, one Sub-Zero. One shoe is blue and black. Pretty fire. It's a sock runner. The other shoe is black and yellow as well. Pretty fire. If you're familiar with John Geiger, he likes to steal Delvin Carter's designs. As well as Cool Kai. Cool Kai is a famous shoe designer. He makes his own shoe. One of your favorite groups, the Dipset, they like to wear his shoes. He's from New York as well. You can see them being worn by one Joel Santana, one Jim Jones, and one Cameron Giles. Dipset, 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 Dipset. He's also a black shoe designer who manufactures his own shoes, has a shoe line. And clothing line as well. What was the name again? Which one? The one you just described. Cool Kai. Cool Kai. With a K. No C's. He might be affiliated. Uh, K-O-O-L-K-I-Y. Sounds 
And this text is subscribing. Man. Boogie's quiet. Okay. But wait, let me myself, guess. Man. That's all bullshit still. Gotcha. All right. What's next? Jesse Smollett. You think he fucked up? <clears throat> you think Jesse fucked up? Why did Jesse take it to court? And tell me and tell me what I had wrong about him. I'm telling you the story was cocaine, fitness trainer, turned gay lover, uh, cocaine again, marijuana, horrible plot to boost my career with white supremacy. <clears throat> Wasted thousands of tax dollars so, on lies. So I think that I think that we and I'm very first off, could we get some hand claps for your knowledge on the shoe, on the black shoe companies? Nah, I don't want no hand claps for that. I, I want the hand claps, not for you. It's for for just it's for them. All right. Man coming through strong over here. But um so but um I just think that it should be the norm that we that we that we patronize ourselves. That should be the norm. Like it shouldn't be like when I and, and You talking about Jesse? Clarify, when I say that No 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 I'm talking about the shoe companies. Oh the black I, I, I thought we was off that but go like, ahead. I'll give me off that but I'm gonna finish my I'm, I'm gonna get my shit off. Um, of course, I feel you, like, will. you know, I feel like that. Um, that when it becomes sick, like when it becomes the norm that we come into the league or come into, you know, when we get endorsements and we think, oh, yeah, I'm going to um, say a black designer, I'm going to wear that shoe instead of the Nike or the Reebok or the Adidas. And we and we don't let that equalize or that compromise or be the be the the um determining factor like because if you, you as the athlete as the entertainer you are the you're the draw so if you put carpet on your feet man they gonna come they gonna wear it so you know the conversation is always like well this is the best brand or this is they got but now whatever you put on your feet is the best brand so you know that's that. That's so not true. Going to uh, just smoke. That's very true, man. Huh? Remember the remember remember the um the, the uh, Reebok uh Sean Carter S dot S dot Carters. Sure. Were those high quality shoes? They was Reeboks. Remember the G units. They was giving all rappers deals back then. Hurricane Chris had a shoe. And actually, the Hurricane Chris feeler was kind of fire. <clears throat> I had like three of them shits too, bro. Man, that was like... Nah, them Hurricane Chris's yeah. was fire, bro. And I did some everything in them bitches, man. You couldn't hoop in them. I worked in them. I was fashionable in them. Huh? You put it on your feet as an as a entertainer, athlete, like... Master P sold shoes for a little bit, man. Come on now. Like, you know, but 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 shoes, all of these shoes we're speaking of, they were backed by by like companies like Fila, Reebok, Nike. Like those were that those were companies who had a shoe and they just put somebody's name on them. what I'm saying. So you think that if they put that name, and I, I don't want to I, I agree with you. I don't want to stay here. I want to go Jason Smollett. But I'm saying that you don't think that if they put that same name behind another like Deodora. Or like, I'm not saying, I'm just saying that every shoe company that comes out, if you put a name behind it, people are going to buy that shoe. Puma, like whatever shoe, it don't have to, it's, it's, the name is irrelevant. It's the player. It's oh, the, it's no, the no, 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 no. I thought you important. said that the player wears the best shoe. If the player has the shoe on, it's the best shoe. I thought that's, oh, so you meant if the player has the shoe on to the to the public, that's the best shoe. Yeah, whatever they put on their feet. Like, oh, okay, you know okay, 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 okay. I thought you meant that if the player got the shoe on, it's the best shoe. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. I see what you mean. Like, you're saying, like, if LeBron James got on the LeBrons to the to the fans, that's the best shoe. Or, like, the Jordan LeBron, is LeBron. the best shoe, even though 90% of the Jordans hurt your feet because the Jordan probably was designed for Jordan. Shoe, foot, not us. Smollett, man. Cocaine. Gay sex, bathhouses, poor white supremacy uh uh act to get him to, to bolster his career. That's what I heard. He did. 
did all that, but it was like all in one set. So just not to not the defunct or the the, the yeah, you you were you were pretty accurate. It's just it wasn't in it wasn't in like uh like in stages. That was just like the one day. It's like they met, they went, they went to a club, you know, saying had some cocaine, they jacked each other off, <laughs> and then it was all in one set. And it wasn't like like day one, I meet you, day two, we make up. No, it was all in like one set. They described the whole but Jesse claims that um he said when this when the quote unquote plot was being plotted out, he was high in the car. No, he said he was hitting high notes. That's what he said. He was hitting high notes. No, he didn't say that. He did not say that. He did not say that. <laughs> I I see what you did there, sir. But man, I don't know, man. Like this. This is my lady, man. Golly, man. his sister is bad, though. I would, Which one? I think she's a very the one who was in um, Love. Talking about Journey? She's a great actress. Journey Smollett? I don't know. Her name's Journey Smollett. They have a, she has a sister that's slightly older than her. Look just like a two, bro. She's slightly thicker, too. Yeah. They all, yeah. they all actors. I know one was like, they were all the whole family actors. was on TV. They were all, they were all, yeah. he was on, he was in the Mike Duck 3, right? Oh shit! I don't know, but you know what fucks it up for for the for, for the young ladies in the family? When they all get together, you realize they all look alike, bro. That's what families do, man. Nah, they all look alike. Like you, you don't like when I look at your sister. I don't see JB, okay? But when you look at Journey Smollett, you see Jesse Smollett. So if you were attracted to Journey, you attracted to Jesse. Pause. That's toxic, bro. <laughs> Speaking I'm of your mama, sister, when is she coming to Houston? Is she in Houston now? I'm on a, I'm on. I am on a black shoe website right now. A yeah. black owned company. What's shoe the name website. of it? Uh, Simi Sienna. Who? Simi Sienna. Oh, I ain't never heard of them. What kind of shoes they got? I'm going to get a pair. Next time you see them, I'm going to have one on. Oh, yeah. Are they, are they fly? Are they kind of fire? I was looking at them when you were talking about it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to start talking about it and be about it, man. I think if you actually go, if you, I think honestly, like if you actually um look, there's there's another black owned shoe company. I don't, I forget the name of it, but um I know they had like one model out and they were black, green, and red. Um, and they're actually supposed to be able to, like, they're made out of recycled materials, they're waterproof, you can roll them shits up. Um, they're supposed to be pretty durable and shit. It's, yeah, a, um, it's a couple of, like, black-owned yeah. shoes. It's a company to make shoes on Amazon. They're black-owned. They're, like, 25 bucks. And I think they're pretty durable. How come we didn't? How come we didn't? How come we didn't champion Big Baller Brain? Outside of the fact that that there was a, uh, it, it, outside of the fact they was getting finessed by their business partner. Outside of the fact that they cost like way too much. That's what they they, they did cost four hundred. Like man, I can't. They cost four hundred. I'm gonna buy four hundred dollars. They cost four hundred and they was ugly as fuck, bro. I mean, they went no more early than the, the S.Dot Carters, bro. In fact, they had some that looked just like the Harachis, the blue. They had some Harachis. I mean, one time, because uh, I got into it with somebody, I was like, man, these, these, these some Harachis, bro. And I went look, I went pull up the, the red, white, and blue Harachis and put there. It was the same thing, man. Well, it's something about the patents. That's why all of a sudden, like like Cool Kai and, and, um, and, and, and the Geiger dude and even Balenciaga, and some other high fashion brands. If you notice, all of their shoes low key look like Air Force Ones, and I just think because that 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 pattern on that on that um on that pattern or whatever is up, so people can grab it. Now I wear I wear a particular type of shoe. You know what I'm saying? What's your what's your what's your go to shoe? What's your go to type of shoe? I have a go to type of shoe. Well, oh, you just said like, you wear a particular type shoe. 
Yeah, like I mean, my shoes like they they you can see them, but you can't see them. There's a couple pair I got that you can see them from like a mile away. Like I like my I got some Kyrie's, some uh some fly traps. I think they're Kyrie, like, who is that? Twenty twenty. Kyrie Irving. What does he do? That's my player for the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, he plays for a team. Is he playing he's right on now? High age right now because he's one. Oh, he's, that he's guy, that guy, kind of short, maybe six four ish, has some SpongeBob signature shoes. Okay, okay. He's, he, they have a vegan option, a vegan option that he's looking at, so that he can uh, begin playing again. A vegan so option to the to the vaccine. Wait, wait. There's a vegan option to the vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> What's in the vegan option on the vaccine? I'm not vegan. But I know that that's that that was very much a um a vegan option, option to the yeah. vaccine. You got your booster shot? No, I, I said you have to get it out the year, right? You're supposed to take it after a couple of months of you having the vax. I know they said, uh, somebody said one of their booster shots pretty much will make you immune to this, uh, uh, I call it the Amarion variant, but I know it's the, I don't know the the correct name for it. Omicron or some shit like that. We go with Marion. It's like Omicron or something. Uh, It's supposed to make you immune to it or some shit like that. Have you taken the um the test to see if you have the antibodies? No, I have not. I'm no. not taking. I'll take my test. I'm not. I'm not for the um, test, man. For you, so you're for the vax, but you're not I'm for the test. Me. Don't test you, but vax you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You can test. No, 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 don't test me. Test, test Jesus, man. Don't test me. But how you know if the vax is working if you don't take any test? Well, because I don't have any symptoms. Uh, you can have COVID once, like I think you said you had COVID, beat COVID, no, and know. catch it again, but not have any symptoms. First off, screw, I ain't never had no COVID. I thought you said you had COVID. You told me you had COVID. When we talked, because I remember vividly the conversation, you was like, oh, y'all going to cut your beards off? You And then because you said you had COVID then. I could have sworn you said you had COVID. I could be wrong, but see, you laughing because you know what what conversation I'm referencing because you laughed. So you know the conversation. Because it was a time when, like, when COVID first hit, they were like, um, they wanted men to cut their beards off. And then Slim Thug caught COVID. (laughs) And, like, he's like, I did all the protocols and I never... You know what I'm saying? I was like, this nigga got a long beard, man. Like, somebody <laughs> in your beard. Slip, slip also, yep. slip, slip Thug also hopped on IG <laughs> and said, which one of you hoes gave me COVID? <laughs> hey, yo, yo, during quarantine, Slip said, I can't go to the strip club so I can have the hoes come to me. And then he caught COVID. And then he said, which one of you hoes gave me COVID, man? <laughs> Slim Thugger. Uh, oh man. Uh, 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 damn, I forgot what I was gonna say. COVID, Slim Thug. Um, dang, I forgot. I went blank. But anyway, yeah, man. COVID, COVID, man. I've never had COVID, bro. Um, I, you 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 told me you had it, I, and I may have interpreted what you said wrong. No, but go text the the the, the delete the text is not deleted; it's still there. Oh no, it's deleted in my Group phone. Still it's, it's deleted in my phone. Oh, I got yeah, I got some other phone, so I can go look it up. I just asked you. Nah, you man, we had a physical know. conversation around this time too, because the T lady had it. No, see that's the, that's told it because no, uh. Uh-uh. Cause was you you was even right. telling me about one of your little dips that had it, and um how you was going to visit her, and she was sick. Yeah, bro, stop the cat, bro. Stop. So you didn't have a dip around this time. <laughs> you didn't have a little breezy. You was you was you was you was bouncing around 
uh, these quarantine streets with. Because I'd be like, hey, bro, why you why? Matter of fact, this was around the time we was doing the pod, and then you would leave the house and go home and go to sleep. But, you know, yeah. Yeah, well, I, what, what, what lie you finna tell? You couldn't put it together? With... <laughs> nah, I just felt like I was saying too much, so I stopped. Speaking of, 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 of guests, where's our guest at, man? Man, I just got another text from Mother Case, man. So, and she said, no, it's not a go? You know, tragedies happen, man. You know, it's, it's that time of year, man. I, I have a theory about said tragedies that, that are happening at this time of year. Best wishes to both of the people who were supposed to be on. I don't want to say names because I don't want y'all to think about it. Both the people that are supposed to be on. Best wishes to y'all and what y'all going through, and I hope it comes out on the great side, the better Did side. Did you miss any appointments this week? What you mean? No, nah, what, what you talking about? I, you might have some appointments, bro. I don't know. You might be doing something strange for these interviews, you know what I'm saying? And however you get, however you use what you got to get what you want, bro, I don't judge. Shout out to Guy, yo, man. Guy on time, man. I was supposed to go catch up with him, man. I had I had the ref. You mean to tell me yeah, that me and Gallo are in town and I have an entire empty studio and you couldn't make that happen? You ain't had no uh, internet. So that's why Nigga, I'm on answer. the internet now. If El Gallo was in town, we don't need the internet to part with three people in the studio. We can do it how we were always was partying and posting the shit. But I thought too, man. But you say no in there. I'm like, man, so I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm, I'm but you know how this process goes. The people don't get this. It ain't live stream. When we drop names, we can edit it out. I mm-hmm. edited out the 20 F boys to just two. When you when you leave, man. Oh, oh, now is when I'm leaving. I'm leaving on Monday. But my days are tied up the next couple of days. Well, Tomorrow gonna night, up. we can rock. Tomorrow night, man. He's going to be with me tomorrow. I got something tomorrow night. He, he'll be with me tomorrow night. Huh? So we might, we might, he'll be with me tomorrow night. Oh, so you made time to party. Uh, you, you know what? No telling where y'all going. Sure. Can a married man go with y'all where y'all going? Go. I heard we got plenty of space, man. Huh? Plenty of space, man. I, I <laughs> you can come. I think I gotta make a phone call. Make sure it's more, it's enough space. But yeah. You know what? No, 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 no. You talking about space? I don't think I need to be there. Who? Corporate setting. It's a corporate setting. Book, you don't do nothing corporate settings. Bro, I do corporate all the time. What you talking about, man? No, you don't do nothing corporate. I'm a corporate gangster, man. Mm. You be you be having people think I'm, I'm some kind of heathen or some kind of I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think I am. But I man, am just, it, you know I've noticed when every time you say that you've gotten in trouble, it be your political connects. You know, you 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 little females that you know you be you be out here, little floozies you be you know, floozying with. I'm not gonna let you. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to allow you to call any of our female listeners floozies. Oh, I'm not calling any of our female listeners floozies. Only the ones that you're smashing. (laughs) 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 For the record, I'm not smashing. You ain't smashing none of our listeners. So there are nobody, there's no females who listen to 16 Shots Podcast or Young James Boogie and AR Dub and you're not smashing them. Not one, man. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. That's a lie. 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 Lie or. How are you going to tell me what, what I'm doing? I, I know you saw that, that room number jump, though. You're like two, like two, 205, I think. A room number? People in, in, in the room. I mean, room, sorry, in the uh, group. Oh, I see like people add, people like join every day. Yeah, man, we, had, we, we, we hit over 200, man. So, you know, we, we reached a plateau. I feel like somebody told somebody and we just got an influx of people all of a sudden. That might have. That's a good That's thing. Cool. Keep dropping the pot, you know, letting the people know. When last time you talked to your um let's talk about it, girlfriends. 
I haven't talked to them in a minute, man. Well, no, actually, I, I talked to, uh, I didn't talk to, I text um, Bella. Oh, you text Bella? Bella. And what was the, how did that text go? Yeah. No, I set up a, a meeting for us to, you know, to do another show together, you know. It's all business. Uh, and, what, and how did she take, what did she say? Bella, first off. Bella is your boo, so don't. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I don't, I don't have any booze. What are you talking about? Bella is your. Um, I'm a happily married uh, man. I don't have any booze outside of the one boo, which is his wife. I don't want to say your ex boo. Bella is the ex boo. I don't. What are you talking about? I don't even. I don't even. I met her through you. What are you talking about? Oh, that's what it was. Okay, yeah, that's. Oh, yes, you sure did. I forgot about that. I don't, bro, bro, these, I don't know none of these young ladies outside of the pod, bro. What are you talking about? Damn. Okay. Uh, all right. So, damn. Um, oh, that means no, anyway, um, no, no, no guests for sure for real tonight. You see that? That's Gallo, man. Did he cancel on you tomorrow? No, nah, man. He man, that's another conversation. But anyway, um, what was it? What were we talking about? Oh yeah, man. Look, man, I'm not. There's no. Our female and male listeners are just you know, great people. Wait, you're involved with some of our male listeners too? Pause. Pause. Yeah. Say, what happened to the female mage? I was excited about that. I was too, man. I, I, to be honest with you, I lost a number. I lost a <sighs> number. And I Party foul, like, bro. Yeah. I know what number you didn't lose. I mean, you know I didn't lose. When was the last time you checked on our um, art trapping queen? Uh, we talked about art. She did a she did a Biggie Smalls mural. I saw that. It was kind of dope. Talked like she did that, or she's selling it from some for someone. She, I saw when she was making it. Oh shit! You was over there. What does the process look no, like? No, I saw when she was. No, no, no. It's okay. You ain't got to clean it up. What does the process look like? Though I'm, I'm excited. I would, I would like to experience this process. I feel like it's a lot of um, low light saging and wine while the while the process is happening. What did you see? What did you witness? I I talked I talked with the night before last. I, I called her and asked about our business part our business situation. And she was like, Well, I can't talk right now because I'm I'm painting. And so she put it, you know, on video and she was sitting down and she was painting. And it was Did you cool. did you mention the project that I that I need her to that I'm that I have her doing for me? I've commissioned her to do a project for me. You ask about your project. Oh, okay. I I I I would assume you would be my median. You know, I, I didn't wanna... know you had a project. What project? What project are you talking about? Well, we talked about it on the pod. Oh yeah, that's right. That's when your shit had died. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know about that. I'm trying to get trying to get a a a a a um um sixteen shots pod. A sixteen shots pod, uh, like a sorry as fuck, man. Like a sorry when you gotta like get your get back against OKC. You sorry? Did you talk about how the Rockets destroyed the the the, the Brooklyn Nets? They didn't destroy them. No, I they saw I, I saw destroying happening. Ten point game. I saw really James went, Harden really get dominated. KD play? Hmm. Did who play? KD play? I don't think KD played. I just saw James Harden getting dominated. Lamar um Aldridge play? Man, let's 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 keep it a buck. Lamar when Lamarcus Aldridge hasn't been a true game changing player in the last four seasons. First off, he didn't play last year. About that. He had heart he didn't issues. I didn't even count last year if you want to keep it a buck. So five. Since you want to count last year. Five. 
Bro, I don't care, bro. You probably can average 15 a, a game playing on who the sorry team in the league, bro. I don't know. You probably can average 15 playing in Memphis. Averaging 18 games with the, the best team in the East, bro. Who was the best team in the East? Brooklyn, the number one in the East. Who who was the best team in the got East? The number one, Brooklyn got the number one record in the East and the number one road record in the in the NBA. This year or last year? This year. Oh, we was talking about last year when he was dominating before he had the heart murmur. I'm talking about this year he dominated. Oh, no, we're not talking about this year, sir. Did yeah, he play? He did he play against the Rockets though? Yeah, he yeah I didn't think so. He was he, he was they play, they play, He's resting. They played against uh, Dallas. They beat Dallas the night before, and then, mm, back to back and then they got a, a, a just just torched by the text by, by the Rockets. James Harden got abused. I saw it, bro. Okay, they won tonight. They beat. Uh, Who did they beat? They, a trash they, ass uh, team. Uh, Atlanta. A trash ass team. Atlanta trash? Yeah, Atlanta trash. You know, your basketball takes be almost as bad as your football takes. Nah, bro, because I'm I'm from H Town, nigga. I ride for the city unlike you, nigga. So everybody trash outside of the Rockets and the Astros. The Texans trash because I don't like them right now. You know what I'm saying? See how you caught see how you were talking about I be contradict myself. No, 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 no. See, as a Houstonian, as a Houstonian, you're allowed to hate the Houston Texans because of what the ownership did to our team, bro. So until ownership makes it right, I ain't rocking with the Texans. Until Deshaun Watson gets treated fairly, I ain't rocking with the Texans, bro. Right for hoes, man. Who? One last time. First off. First off, stop victim shaming. Secondly, when was the last time you heard a peep out of that? When was the last time you heard about this this case? When was the last time you heard oh, about Deshaun Watson in this case? Who is the victim? It, it might be Deshaun. Tell me when the last time you heard about the case. Tell me. I heard about it the other day, actually. What you heard about it? Now you might have heard. Now you might have seen Tony Busby in the headlines the other day because he jumped on this uh, suing Travis Scott bandwagon. When last time you heard about his lawsuits with Deshaun Watson? I'm gonna tell you why I think he's guilty. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear why you think he's guilty. I want you to tell me when was the last time you heard about Tony Busby and these Deshaun Watson cases. Tony Busby, you talking about? Sean Wait, Watson. I'll tell you why. Do you haven't heard anything? You haven't heard a peep about these cases since Rusty Harden yeah, said, "Hey, you know what? We've opened up an FBI investigation on um, blackmail and extortion." And you ain't heard a peep since. True. So what you heard? Tell me what you heard. I don't want to hear about why you think he's guilty. Tell me what you heard about the case. What happened was this is this is this is fact factual information. Tell me factual information. So time out. Is it not factual information that there is an extortion investigation? Is that factual? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm saying, is that a fact? Does John Watson... Was is it a fact? Is, yeah, no, no, no. Is it a fact? Yes or no? I said yes. Okay, Does good. John Watson to settle all the cases. It's in his best interest to settle all the cases so he can go play. He was going to settle all the cases. So he can go play. Playing, man. Yes. Playing, man. Yes. When the Texans found out that he was willing to settle all the cases... Texas like, nah, we ain't taking three picks. We want four picks because if he going to settle, like, really, he not settling to fuck with us. No, you know I'm what not. Saying? But he fucking with us to not settle. The nigga so, who's suing me is your neighbor. No. The nigga who's suing me is your neighbor. None of these lawsuits really came up until I said, let me go. Y'all claim all this bullshit ain't got no hard evidence. And then the moment we start our FBI probe into extortion, your whole cap is hush mouth. Just say you think Sean Watson's innocent, man. I don't know what he is. 
Uh, if he, if he, if he, if I, I, man, look, to me, I don't know, man. To me, I'm just like. But you told me he, why you think like, he's guilty, though. I said I don't know if he's innocent I, or guilty. Show me the proof that he's think, that he's either innocent or guilty. Until then, yeah. you you're you're innocent yeah. until proven guilty. The reason why I think he's guilty because if he was going to settle for the like I said that great equalizer that money, bro. If you gonna if you were gonna settle for the money, if you innocent, you're not gonna settle, bro. Like, it ain't no settling like for innocent. the money. The Texans got to pay him regardless because it ain't even enough money to put him on a commissioner's exempt list where he won't get paid. So they gotta pay him, and that's the whole thing. They gotta pay him. He was willing to settle so he can get traded. So nah, if 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 you if you want to move if you want to move the goalposts, once I said I settle just to be done with this shit, and then you want to move the goalposts, well fuck it, sit here and keep paying me. He getting Why paid regardless, bro. If you if I'm innocent, I'm not gonna settle for no reason. I don't give a damn what's going on. I'm not settling if I'm innocent. It's a civil case. It's not a criminal case. It's a civil case. At this point, that shit just gets... the, the That's the whole point of the civil case. To put the civil case on an athlete who you know probably want to just start moving around and playing again, he's going to pay the settlement so he can just be done with this shit. The problem is, it's not enough evidence to put him on the commissioner's exempt list or whatever that list is where they don't have to pay him. If the Texans could have got out of not paying him or getting the money back or not having to pay the money, they would have... And then he probably would have just paid these motherfuckers so he can move on with his life. It's not enough evidence to even have that exemption file and, and they have to keep paying him. So I'm making my money regardless. So yeah, nah, I'm not going to agree to the... to Yeah, I'll agree to this shit if you trade me to Miami. And now because you know I agree to it, now you want to ask for more? No. It's real bullshit. Because, like, you skip the fact that we could just cut you, bro. They can't because they still got to pay him. And, look, and, and it's a cap penalty. They can't just cut him because at his salary, if they cut him, the cap penalty costs more than paying the nigga, bro. So, no, you just can't cut him. Brock Osweiler? He was at the end of a contract, bro, where the cutting of the Brock Osweiler and getting new talent in wasn't going to cost them more than keeping him. You can't just cut. You cut Deshaun Watson. You ain't getting shit for Deshaun Watson. He was not in his contract, bro. He what was they gonna get for Brock Osweiler, book? Tell me what somebody was gonna get him for for Brock Osweiler. But he owed him money. But what were money. they gonna get in return? Regardless, they cut him for the. No, 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 no. Why am I gonna cut Deshaun Watson? I can get at least two draft picks for Deshaun Watson. Why am I gonna cut him? I'm not gonna cut Deshaun Watson. You fucking crazy. Three or four, but if 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 we if if it's about the money and we gotta pay him anyway, I ain't gonna just pay, I ain't gonna have him on my roster and not cut him. I cut him if I gotta pay him either way. I just cut him and pay him. It's a waiting game, game, bro. Difference. I'm finna no. You finna sit here. You finna sit here on on my roster, and I'm gonna collect money. I mean, I'm you gonna sit here on my roster? I don't care. I'll pay you because if he gets found guilty or some bullshit, I, it's some sort of bullshit legal thing that they can get out of it and get bread back. I'm not finna you don't you're not cutting Deshaun Watson is a generational talent. You know you're not cutting him. Brock Osweiler, you won't go get shit for him regardless. Cut your losses and move on. You can't do that shit with Deshaun Watson. You cut Deshaun Watson, he's gonna be on somebody's team. Deshaun Watson get cut, hit the waiver wire, he's signing with somebody ASAP. And all they gonna do is set him at the edge of the bench until all this legal shit gets cleared. And probably if they did cut him and he got signed by somebody, he'd probably just pay the motherfuckers off. So he can move on with his life. Where you going? What's up? Where you going? What you mean? Where you... Tell me where you going. The only reason why they couldn't pull off a trade for Deshaun Watson is A, the Texans wanted a King's ransom for a guy who had some civil lawsuits out on him. And B no team was going to pay C.A. King's ransom until they knew he was 100% in the clear. Well, by the time that all that shit was probably obvious, the trade deadline has passed. The trade deadline has passed now, so you can't do anything. They had to trade them for the trade deadline, book. You're telling me that every team in the league, was, nobody, so, okay, it's what, 32 teams in the league? How many, how many of them 32 teams need a quarterback? How many of them teams 
would have been like, shit, I need a quarterback. Let me go see what's up with him. Let's see what they got going on. So your teams that needed quarterbacks, they actually reached out. But none of them were going to do the deal. All right, if I'm Green Bay, I'm not going to try to do a deal with Aaron Rodgers or trade if I know Deshaun Watson probably not going to play this year. Like, every team knew Deshaun Watson probably wasn't going to play this year. I'm not going to give up a King's Ransom for him now. I'll wait till next year. The Texans give wanted too year. much. The Texans wanted too much for a player who probably won't play this year. Give them, you, they're gonna, they're gonna, they want the same thing next year. You think they're gonna want less next year or more? The fact he can play, teams will probably be willing to move on him. Uh, they'll probably get what they was asking this year, the, the realistic asking price. You're right. Once he said, "I'll settle to go play somewhere else," the Texans asked for more. They're not going to get that. Yeah, because what I'm saying is they're going to get, like, okay, they're going to get whatever they want. Texas, the Texans have all the power here because the Texans like shit. We ain't got to trade you, bro. So either you play ball with us or you don't play. So really, and uh, other teams that might want him got to be like, this is what, it's, this is what he worth. You're right. It's the, so he, like, he also trying to prove a point, and he getting paid while proving said point. And see, this is the thing, bro. If – if there was enough evidence where the Texans could get out of paying him, then the Texans truly would have all, all would hold all the marbles. Then he would have no choice but to settle out so he could start playing again. But I mean, as long as he's still getting paid and he got money to pay Rusty Harden, bro, he can wait that shit out. He was already willing to sit out a year. So just look at that. He was already willing to sit out a year. He sat out and still got paid. You don't get paid regardless, man. That's not true. Whether he's if he got cut, they had to pay him. If he sit out, they gotta pay him. If he got cut, he was gonna go, he was gonna get signed by another team. But the Texans are like They gotta pay. With the amount of draft still, picks, with the amount of draft draft picks that they let Bill O'Brien give away for a left tackle, they don't have any draft assets. They need draft picks. I'm not finna I'll let him sit on I'll let him sit on the shelf another year. And then once all this legal shit is over with, I can get some ass assets because the Texans ain't got no fucking draft picks, bro. They ain't had no draft picks this year. I don't think they got too many next year. At least if I trade them next year before before the draft, I can get a couple of draft picks and I can truly start my rebuild because he ain't going to play for us next year. That ain't going to happen. I honestly think the Texans thought that maybe they could have some conversations. This shit will blow over. And he'll play for us again. I honestly think the Texans thought that they could find a way to keep Deshaun Watson in Houston. And they can't. They I think they fucked up when they traded away D Hop. It's the cold part. He gonna get hurt next year. Cold part. That's though. fine. Why are you wishing that on the man, bro? I'm telling you what's gonna happen because he got hurt every other year he was here anyway. It happens when, when you're running played, for your life. Hurt. Now it happened when you you got hurt before he got here. He had torn ACL in college. He, he did. Here, he tore his ACL in college. Yeah, I tore his ACL with the Texans. He tore his ACL in practice. practice with the Texans. Non non contact. You know what I'm saying? But so, he also like, tore his ACL. He, he did something to a, to a knee. Um, he did something to a knee. He tore his ACL against Seattle. I think he tore his ACL like three times. No, twice. He did something against Seattle, bro. I'm saying, but and both of the both of the ACL tests were non-contact, so just showing like they don't run him because he he frail, man. Okay. He tough, but he breaks up. So that's gonna be cold. That's the cold right there. Like like that's why the teams ain't moving on like that too. Cause like damn, you got two ACL blowouts in four years. I'm gonna give you. That's not true. Thirty five. Because he didn't yeah, tear the yeah, same ACL, though. And that's the thing. He didn't tear the same one. That's even worse. No, it's not worse. Because that lets you know he tore one and it was fine. Sometimes with the advancements with the advancements of our, our medical situations, they say that the ACL comes back stronger than it was before it was, before it was torn. You haven't read these reports? Give me, give me an example. 
He's the example. When Dan Marino tore his ACL, bro, that was like a career-ending injury. These niggas tie that ACL and be back like in six months, four months. Just some crazy shit. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's six months. These would be a year and a half. It's like six to nine months. Bro. The ACL tear and same ACL tear. Especially in football. You a hater, bro. You, you a hater, bro. You a hater, bro. So in college in 2014 and tore it again in 2017. It wasn't the same knee, though. I'm saying, bro. You tore the other I one. I top off my knees. I can top off my knees up, man, on non-contact plays. You a hater, bro. What did they, they tell you? Did, okay, he tore his ACL. Did the other one tear that was surg- surgically repaired? No. Nah. And, and then the one that was surgically repaired. He lasted two seasons, right? Once again, how do you... Okay, I'm not going to go there. So, uh, what you got in conclusion? No, nah, go where you was going to go. I want to hear what you was going to say. Most of the times when you hurt the other leg, it's a thing called compensation. Like you have an injury in one leg, and to compensate, you don't do it on purpose, but you mm-hmm. compensate and you tear and you mess your other leg up. Okay. So now you're saying it's it's the the next one is do up for another injury. I'm saying that how many players you know got how many players you know got two ACL tears in both knees? I don't know. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. I don't know. Not common. Especially for a runner, somebody who's an agile player who's relying on his feet a lot. So the last time we saw him on a football field, did his agility look compromised? Ah, hmm. uh, no, I would say no. Would now say his no. issue is how he plays. He takes unneeded risk. I don't need my star quarterback diving over the goal line, getting shellacked by linebackers. Pause. Because that sounds gay. I don't need my star quarterback to have non contact injuries, also. I mean, you can't. I mean, I can't. I can't. You can't control how someone gets hurt. I mean, yeah, but you think to yourself, like, okay, maybe in the pocket, the pocket collapsed, somebody falls on his knee. But, like, if you just drop him back and your whole knee shatters, like. How do you know it wasn't the practice. facilities, though? How you know it wasn't the field? Okay. Same, I'm just saying, same thing happened to Javion Clowney. Same thing happened to the punter. I'm just saying. You can read about these articles. Literally, Reliant Stadium or whoever owns the stadium had to pay a lawsuit out to said punter because he had evidence that the field fucked his knee up. Same thing with Clowney, but he didn't sue him. It's video evidence that the field fucked up Clowney's knee. Huh? In college. It was the same thing happened in college. Oh. Other knee. I'm just, I'm just telling you, bro. You know, it's not the facilities. Oh, okay. I'm just asking you how Maybe you know it's not the same, facilities. Maybe the same company that made Reliant Energy Pill. Well, you know, how did he hurt his knee in college, though? How did he hurt it in college? What was he doing when he hurt it? He, what was he doing? In, in 2004. What was he doing? Freshman, he was. Was you know he was he tore it before the game mm. playing on it. He tore it before, before the game, game doing what? Warm ups. 
He tore it in warm ups. Warm up. And how did what was he doing while tearing it in warm ups? Does it tell you? Or did it says he tore it in warm ups? Huh? In warm ups or it felt 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 the snap, continued to play, played the whole game. At the end of the game he had an MRI, so they had torn ACL. Damn, he tore his ACL and played the whole game. Poor soldier. 2014. And how did he tear it in practice at the Texans? I don't know. Well, I remember that when he dropped back in practice and he um, dropped back and he collapsed on him. He planted and he collapsed. Mm. Was that the same knee or a different knee? I thought it was the same knee. I thought it was the same knee. That's what it says here. It was a different knee? Because he heard a knee playing against Seattle, bro. When he came in that first year, when he took over starting role, I think it was like week 10. He was in Seattle, bro, and he fucked his knee up. But, and he fucked his knee up in like the first quarter or some shit and kept playing. But it was a design rollout play when he fucked his knee up. I'm I'm not denying. I'm not disputing what you're saying. I'm just saying that I know the ACL tear when he had to sit out for the rest of the year. That was in practice. He might have done it. He might. I mean, you, you you probably are right. He might not have fully he tore, tore it either, though. He might have strained it some shit. What you got in closing, bro? In closing, man. You be from shit, man. Uh, Trying to get Gallo in on Sunday. You're going to be here Sunday, right? Yeah, you know, I'm here for a wedding, though. And the wedding is on Sunday. What time, Sunday? I'm pretty sure it's on day slash night thing. Uh, I mean, photos start at did. noon. I don't know what time the actual wedding starts. And then there's a reception thing, too. But then I'm flying out Monday morning. So I'll bring the camera. I don't. I don't know. Up. I don't know what my availability is on Sunday. I need to bring the camera out for the wedding on Sunday. Why are you bringing the camera out? Because if you're gonna be at a wedding, then I can bring. I come to the wedding reception and we'll set up. You know, somewhere in the wedding and do. You know, a pod. I'm not potting. I'm not potting from my cousin's wedding. Why not, bro? It's gonna be loud. People are gonna be. We can find a little. Space. Get thirty. We can get thirty, forty-five minutes, man, to the, to the corner, man. You gotta be a trooper, man. Yeah, I'm not potting at my cousin's wedding. <laughs> I'm not about this life. Right. Okay. Okay. You gotta, you gotta be sometimes. You gotta extra mile. I thought we were supposed to be potting at the art gallery anyway. What happened with that? I thought you were supposed to set that up. Art gallery, which one? The art gallery. I don't want to put your business out there in the streets, but the one where you were holding the camera for her photo shoot. Camera art for somebody's photo shoot. Yeah, she was she was dressed in white. Stop the camera. <laughs> so I thought we were partying at the art gallery. Like y- y'all said, th- y'all said that was gonna be a thing. Nobody said that. I never see, man. Y'all definitely said that. You know we record this thing, right? I, I said, actually, man. Look, no, I've never been to our gallery holding the camera for anybody. You so sure? Because I, 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 someone definitely was holding the camera. It wasn't me. Hey, man. Nigga, look. we was together. Hey, man. We both we both saw the same thing at the same time. So what are you talking we about? We definitely weren't together. I was. In Atlanta, Georgia, and you, sir, was somewhere in Houston. You could have easily tweeted me about the beautiful artwork that was on display while holding the camera. I said, "Hey, man, did you see what I saw?" I said it was a beautiful painting. That's what yeah. I said, and I said, "That's unique. That painting." And you responded, that's unique as well. That doesn't sound like anything I, I said. That's unique. If I was there, I wouldn't have. Why would I text you if I was there? You would have texted me this, to let me know about checking out the unique art that was on display. 
like, hey, man, I'm here. I got exclusives. You definitely wouldn't tell me that. Matter of fact, you would want it to be a secret that you had exclusive paintings. Because I know she's working on a you have you have commissioned a a private painting of yourself. Huh? What? I'm commissioning paintings myself, man. Why do that for? I don't know. I don't. I'm trying to help you not offend your political connects. I'm 